Okay, guys, if you're there, I just have to get to the live chat here. So one second. Um, so I can see who's here. All right. Okay. Just do one thing so we know we've got our title. So there was a video that was dropped today <clears throat> by the Revelations and Reckonings, Kim. And of course, on the top, it's clickbait. It says, you know, uh, Nico DNA results. And then she claims that there's some comments. And I don't know if any of you have ever watched the show The Middle one of the um, kids, the oldest kid, used to do stuff like what Kim did today. And it was like, call his mother and say, hey, mom, I know you're probably busy. So if I don't hear back from you in 30 seconds, I'm going to take it as a yes that I can go out and, you know, after school and do whatever. She's doing that. Um, if she doesn't get an answer, and I'll show you what she's talking about. I'll bring it up here. I have it in a Word document. Um, let me just make sure that we have high snow remover. And whisper to me, Foxy Lady, hello there. Hi. Oh, Abigail Rose, If I have not had your address, and I need it because I have to send that out. Okay, so let's see. Hi, Sam. Just want to make sure snow remover's not... Okay, two scooters there, good. All right, um, and, I'll, and I'll talk to you guys in a minute, but I just want to bring this up because she's asking for an answer. And I got off the phone with the Rusex earlier tonight. So, you know, this is going to be addressed. This, she says, let me make this larger. Hold on so you guys can see this. She's referring to a comment that wasn't even about the uh, paternity. No, it's too big. So what she says is this. I just spoke with Chris. He confirmed that when Amanda, Nick, and Chris... We're sitting at the table. Then Nicole Atkinson informed Chris that Fox 31 News would be there that morning at 10.30 a.m. Wanted to make sure I was correct in my reconciliation of what I said. My apologies if that is not correct. I know that Lauren A. was on the phone and spoke with Denver 7 when your wife commented about getting a search going. Chris says that Nicole was the friend that was in contact with the media and himself the most. He mentioned that your wife didn't want him, this is a direct response to Frank, okay, didn't want him to do an interview, but that Nicole was out in front of his house on the sidewalk doing a media interview with her little daughter while the canines showed up and were searching the house. His friends Nick and Amanda were at his home as well when the news was finished interviewing Nicole. They then came to the house and set up to speak to him. So it's just his understanding that Nicole spoke with them and did an interview, then came to the house to speak with him. I'm not sure if that's a fact per se, just his understanding of the events that took place. Now here she goes. One big fact that you could help us clear up is providing Chris, Ronnie, or Cindy Watts proof of the DNA test you guys have spoken about having the results to in respect to baby Nico. We clearly would like to be able to eliminate as much speculation as possible, and with you having those results, it would be an easy fix. If you would just send a copy of the results via mail, text, or email to them, it would be appreciated. I believe you have their contact info. If not, I can provide that to you. After they review the results, if it shows Chris Watts as being the father, I'll immediately post a video with them clearing the air on that and it will officially be done. It will officially be a done subject and we can all move on from that one aspect. 
I know this whole situation is hard for both families. I'm truly sorry for any added stress or emotion that all of this is adding to an already tough situation. It's hard for the Watts family as well. And we just hope to have more truth and clarity in the coming days, weeks, and months ahead. Ultimately, we just want answers too. And since they aren't being readily provided to us, we have no choice but to go about it in this way. We will wait to receive those DNA results from you. And with that, be able to move on from that soon. Thank you. Then she decides to up the ante. She responds to someone else, not even to Frank this time, and puts another demand out, okay? So she's speaking to someone else about this and says, thank you for your message. I understand the concern behind you doing so. Let me clarify. It was the Rusaks who had a paternity test done. That is false. And I'll show that to you. Okay. With the Watts, when the Watts found this out, it shocked them. They had no idea why the Rusaks would request this to be done, and neither did Chris. Clearly, there must have been a reason for them to have their daughter's baby tested. Kim, you pretend to know so much about the law. This is pretty sad that you don't know why this was done, but I'm going to show it to you. The Watts have attempted to get these results via the DA's office and from the R's. All attempts failed. Really? I thought the DA, I thought the DA told Ronnie that the father was Chris, right? You just said he didn't give Chris's last name, Ronnie said. It, didn't you tell me that? It, is it the DA's responsibility to clarify what other Chris would it be? If it was another Chris... Chris Adams, Chris Ross, whoever you want to say, if it's, Ronnie's saying it's another Chris, right? Wouldn't the DA say that? You're asking about the paternity. The father is Chris, okay? You think if it was another Chris, the DA wouldn't have clarified that? Come on. And if you were not clear on the results, Ronnie, you should have opened your mouth because you have no problem opening your mouth and coming on YouTube, Ronnie, you should have opened your mouth and asked the DA to clarify it. And I urge you to call tomorrow morning, but I'm going to show you who requested the paternity tests, okay? They were not the Rusaks that requested it. So you don't know anything about the law either. I'm going to go over that in just a minute. Okay. Thank you, Miss Beautiful Mess, for becoming a deputy rambler. Um, she says, okay, then, then let's see where we're we? All attempts fail, which leaves the Watts to believe. Okay, now here we go. <laughs> this is so silly. She doesn't even mention what Ronnie said in the video. Then says, all attempts have failed, which leaves the Watts to believe the baby isn't Chris's. Well, what the Watts believe is that song, What a Fool Believes. Okay, you could just put that, you know, what a fool believes, what the Watts believe. It truly is. They, they are... They are being foolish to believe that because the, they, then legally they wouldn't have to provide the results to Chris or his parents. Okay, so Kim, do you understand that Ronnie said the DA told him Chris was the father? You said it in your own video with him. I guess you forgot that part, right? Okay. Frank left a comment to me and I responded. I used that opportunity to ask him what I did. I have never reached out to him or his wife before as I recognize that boundary. However, when he engaged me, I simply engaged back. The paternity is public knowledge as they took the conversation onto Dr. Phil's television show already. So please understand that I'm not simply exposing a private matter rather trying to help Chris and his family gain clarity on a very critical piece to this tragedy. The tragedy of what? Their son murdering a pregnant woman and his own children and then putting them in oil tanks? Oh, that's the tragedy you're trying to clear up, right? The one that you don't want mentioned, that part. Okay, the Rusaks dropped on the Watts Oh, the, the, this critical piece to the tragedy, this is the critical piece to the tragedy, right? The paternity of Nico is the critical piece of this tragedy. 
nothing about what Chris did is critical. Okay, it, it, this part is critical to them. Okay, that the Rusaks dropped on the Watts. Again, making the Rusak family out to be villains, or we'll just drop this on the... It's dropping something that's shattering to them that Nico was Chris's son. That shattered the Wattses on the on the Dr. Phil show. That was something that was upsetting to them that Chris was the father of Nico. That's insane. Okay. Episode on TV. Like I said, clearly they had reason to do a DNA test on baby Nico. Okay. Cause Kim, again, don't pursue uh, any, any uh, law. Don't, don't pursue giving Chris law advice or legal advice or knowing the law. Because if you think the reason that the paternity was tested was because the Rusaks requested it, you couldn't be further wrong. And I'll explain it to you in a minute, like I said, but let's finish reading the rest of this intelligent comment. So clearly, this is her deduction. The reason to do the, uh, they had a reason to do the DNA test on baby Nico. If that baby is truly Chris Watts's baby, Chris and the Wattses would now request the legal test result to ease their concerns. I hope this makes more sense. I know it's an already sensitive subject. Now, in the video, she says if she does not, if she does not hear from Frank about this, she is just going to then understand that it's because the baby is not Chris Watts's, and she will just go on from there. That's what she's going to do. This investigator, okay, is going to just say, if I don't hear from you, then it's not Chris's baby. Well, Miss Investigator, why wouldn't you have Ronnie clarify with the DA? Why would you bother the Rusaks? Okay, why? Why are you doing this? Because you want to believe it's not Chris's baby? Well, let's look over here on who actually requested the paternity test. And Kim, in a homicide investigation that was going to trial until Chris took a plea deal, do you understand that the paternity of the baby had to be tested per the investigation, per the DA, not the Rusaks. The Rusaks did not, did not request it, okay? It was done as part of the investigation, Kim. Why? Well, let's think about it, Kim. If there was a trial, and let's say Chris's side wanted to argue that he didn't do it because Shanann was having an affair and the baby wasn't even his. And maybe the father of that baby is the one that did it. What do you think they would just do? Shrug their shoulders? No, they had to test the fetus to know who the father was, Kim. Do you even understand that? You don't understand the law, Kim. Okay? To say something... So, it's, I'm sorry, it's ignorant what you said, that that was done because the Rusaks weren't sure who the father was, is ignorant. It was done as part of the investigation. Okay? So, here we go. Portions of the placenta umbilical cord and membranes will be retained and the fetus will be transferred to the jurisdiction of the CBI for subsequent, subsequent genetic analysis. You can find that, Kim, on page 1005, okay? It's in the autopsy. Now, on page 1008, evidence, the fetus is transferred to the Colorado Bureau of Investigation for genetic analysis if warranted in the future, 
in the future means for trial, Kim. If there should ever come into play the paternity, it will be there. They have the results, okay? Secondly, you said with your interview with Ronnie, Ronnie said the DA told him Chris was the father. Then Ronnie says, but he didn't say Chris who? Well, Ronnie, if you didn't understand that if it was a different Chris, the DA would have told you. But if you're uncertain about that, you should have asked him. But you know what you need to do, Ronnie? You need to call the DA's office because the Rusaks are not dealing with this. I could say a lot of words, but uh, misinformed person leaving comments. Okay. They're laughing at the stupidity. Sandy actually says, <laughs> you know, these little poop emojis, poop, poop, poop. I said, what did? Really, they're, they're just shaking their heads at the absurdity, the absurdity that you're leaving a comment and telling them they have to get back to you or you're going to assume the baby wasn't Chris's. So the baby is Chris's. He is the father of that baby. Have Ronnie call the DA in the morning and get his proof. But don't put this on the Rusak family because they're not doing your investigative work if you don't believe it. So you go with Ronnie and call the DA's office and leave these people alone, Kim. Okay? I, uh, what is it, uh, 15 days to Christmas? Don't put this down there and, and demand them to get you something. They don't want to engage with you, okay? And your lunacy. They're going on with their, their lives. Leave them alone. They don't want you bringing back stuff, okay, to them that, that, that you want them to do. Have Ronnie call the DA's office. He was already told Chris was the father. So... Go right on ahead, okay? And that's that's right from the Rusak family. And I spoke to them about an hour and a half ago. So there you have it, okay? Don't say because you're not going to get an answer from them. Call the DA yourself. Have Ronnie call the DA. Because this, this is sheer lunacy, and I'm sure the DA is going to tell you sheer lunacy. Okay. You don't think a DA is going to tell you if it was not Chris, you think that if it was, I'm trying to think if it was, uh, who else was, but we can't even say like Christian Slater or something. If it was some other Chris, do you think he would say Chris is the father? No, he wouldn't say that to you. Okay, I know you think he's the DA shady and he and he's in on all this stuff, right? So then if you thought the DA was shady, why would you just take an answer from that? Just like that. Why wouldn't you clarify it, Ronnie, unless you're trying to look, you're trying to look for something to make your son. I, I don't even understand how that would look better to you. Yeah, you want to say, oh, Chris wasn't the only one cheating, right? Well, uh, try again because the baby was Chris's. Okay. Chris was the one cheating. He is also the one that murdered his pregnant wife and his children and then disposed of their bodies in oil tanks. Yeah. That was Chris Watts, Ronnie. Okay. Plea deal stands. I know Kim's telling you all this craziness, but Kim's craziness doesn't even add up. Okay. The things she's spewing, she can't even leave her comments on. She can't have a chat on because so many people will tell her exactly what she doesn't want to hear. So she's in denial and she can just close her ears, la, 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 and say something, not face the facts, okay? Then she goes on other panels 
and doesn't answer any of the questions. And she goes on with creators that don't know the law and don't know anything about the case, just want speculation and all of this conspiracy crap. She'll never come here because it wouldn't let her go on and on and on. I'd ask her questions that she couldn't answer. She's just spinning a web of lies. Okay. That's all she is. And, um, Ronnie, go call the DA's office. Do you need me to get you the number? You know, you could look it up, right? I think you have it. You should have it. Uh, you called for Chris's belongings, his wallet, right? It's the same number. Go call up there tomorrow, okay, and ask him, say, you told me Chris was the father. I need to verify if that, if you mean my son, Chris Watts. Go on and do that tomorrow, but don't tell don't have your little spokesperson say that the Rusacks have to give you an answer because they don't owe you anything. Okay? Leave them alone. Really. Because they're just laughing at this. They don't want to hear this crap she's spewing. It's laughable to them. She has absolutely no knowledge of the law, no knowledge of the case, only what she wants to spin. So that's it. There's your answer, okay? And then let's see what you guys are saying. That's it. That's all there is to say on that one. I mean, the Rusacks did not request a paternity test. That was done as part of a homicide investigation. That is done in homicide investigations. How, Kim, really? Think about it. If they're in a trial and the defense tries to say the baby wasn't his and the father of that baby did this, how would they know if they didn't know the paternity of the fetus, of Nico? Come on, Kim. That wasn't up to the Rusacks. They had no choice. It was an investigation, homicide investigation. It didn't go to trial, and so they had to do it anyway. They didn't know what was going on. They had to do it as part of the investigation. They would have done it even if there would have been a plea deal. It's just done. It's a routine thing. Yes, all DNA was taken. Go look at the autopsies. Okay, so this is ridiculous. Now let's see here. Kevin, hi, Kevin. Kim is in love with Chris. Yeah, who would spend, would she say, I don't know how many hours a day, every single day on the phone? Want to know the paternity, Veronica says, because let's say he wasn't the father. In their mind, it will, make, it will make him less of a monster, I guess, because they will say that his wife must have been cheating. And I guess maybe if they think that their son is not the only cheater in the relationship, that he might have, um, maybe it'll be somebody to pin this on or whatever. But, you know, it'll just, they just want to build up the character of their son. Thank you, Abigail Rose, for becoming a detective rambler. That's weird. I thought you were already one. Okay. Um, let's see here. Isn't it sickening, this whole crime, and followed by the discussion jerk by the Watts camp? Yes, it is. It's sick that they're playing these games that in her video, if you don't get this, so then that, that would give her license to get on there in, what, two days and say, well, I never got the information from the Rusacks, so now we have nothing to assume other than that the baby isn't Chris's and she'll go off on that whole thing. She's dying for this. But no, 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 no. You go and call, Kim. You go have Ronnie call. Advocate. How can she be so ignorant? <laughs> Yeah, and supposedly Chris wants her to sit at the table with the lawyers. There's going to be no trial. They, they know that. They know there's no chance. They're using this to build up Chris's character with lies. Let's 
Oh, she certainly is crafting. Let's see, this is common sense to anyone with half a brain, Tim says, which clearly does not include Kim. Right. You get these people, Kim and the Watts? No, I don't get them either. Oh, and then, yeah, I wanted to show you something else. Let me just make sure that is up because uh, I spoke with Frankie. I spoke with all three through sex tonight. So, and they are laughing their butts off on this. Just the absurdity of that this is this is who's speaking for the Watts. You know, this, where's your big lawyer? Where's your big dream team? Where's the Innocence Project? I don't know. Where are they? Oh, you want Kim instead? Oh, you've had all those those lawyers that have just come. They just want to take this case, right? Pro bono, all those all those high profile lawyers that are lining up to take Chris's case, right? Yeah. Okay. Yep. Where's the Innocence Project on this? You should have no problem contacting the Innocence Project. They should take this right up because he's in there for no reason, right? He didn't do this. No, but we want Kim instead. Can we have Kim instead? Yeah, she's better. Okay, so let me just go to this and see if we have this here. Okay, so Frankie wrote this, and I'm going to pull this over and just go over this. <sighs> Okay, so he said, hold on, let's go back to my chat here. So I just have this, where did my chat go? Hang on, I think I, oh, there it is, okay. This is for Kim and Alan. Both of you guys can G-F-Y-S. Okay, that's <laughs> some expletives that there's an acronym for. No one has to prove Shite to any of you losers. Chris Watts was the cheater, remember? It's in the discovery that Nico is Chris Watts' son. Do your job and look it up, but you probably won't because it goes against your narrative. Get over it. Get a life and grow TF up. Both of you are capitalizing on a closed case of my family that was murdered by Chris Watts and only Chris Watts. Both of you go on and on with lie after lie with zero evidence. How about you start showing some proof or evidence to go with your lies? And note to Kim, evidence is not your opinion. And evidence is not your crazy reenactments. That's not evidence, Kim. Okay. LMAFAO. You piece of shite losers lie all to make a buck or get attention. You two are the biggest con artists and the world knows it. The whole world knows my sister is innocent. Your two cents isn't needed. We don't care what you have to say. You both were nobody losers before you decided to capitalize on my family's murders, and you'll still be nobody losers when this is over and you both get charged and arrested. You're both laughable. CW is a lying narcissist, and the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. No one believes a word he or his family has to say. He's just trying to get out of prison. I hate to tell you, but CW will never get out of prison. He will be in there until Satan himself comes to get him. This is from each of us. Shanann, Bella, Cece, Nico, my mom, dad, and myself, Frankie. P.S. I can't wait to see what you come, what you idiots come up with next. No one's laughing with you. They're laughing at you. PSS, I will never stop standing up against your lies, slander, rumors, conspiracies, and hate. You will never win. I will stand up and protect my family until my last breath. So good luck. Okay. So that's that. And let me just get that down. Okay. Okay. To do that and send to me. That is funny. Chris quoting the Bible. Yeah. 
it doesn't even, did you hear, he, he supposedly he lied to Cato to get his testimony out there. Somebody that's trying to get his testimony out there is lying to get it out there. That doesn't go hand in hand with that, right? Okay. I'm sorry, Robin. Let's see. Kim must have got a thrill, him responding to her, so sad. Uh, yes, Crafton, that's who it is, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Assumptions are not facts, right? Every time I hear Kim, I look, I get a heart pain. It's crazy. Love how Chris and the Watts are using God to try and get out. Um, your son confessed over and over and led them to the bodies. He is going to die in prison. LMFAO. Kim, if you love Chris, go join him. Peridot's eyes said, thank you so much for what you are doing to defend Shanann. Always. Thank you, Peridot's eyes. Kim is going to get him more years. Well, a lot more hate, probably. A lot more hate. And the stupidity that she keeps trying to say he's in general population. And he leaves the cell of his door open eight hours a day. Mert, you're saying, let's see. I don't know who you're talking about, they. Who's they, Mert? I don't know who they is becoming more and more laughable the more you tell us. I haven't seen one of her videos because I don't want to support her at all. Dr. Phil acknowledged it, that Chris Watts is the father, so I have to agree with you. She's trying to twist this. Absolutely. Kathy says, Shanann was a good woman, wife, and mother and friend. Absolutely. The lawyers are going to get one of the highest profile of cases, and they're going to share the limelight with Kim. Don't think so, right? There seems to be a moral and truth deficiency in the southern states of the United States denialism. Maybe the Watts promised Kim some sort of life insurance money. That's all the Watts care about is money. For Coke and lawyers who can get him out of jail, he will never get out, ever. Seems like Kim is the only one out of all the people to talk to the prison that thinks he isn't responsible for the kids. Is there any way the parents can have Kim's page shut down for harassment, defamation, and all the other problems? Yeah, uh, they're looking into that. Kim is stuck on stupid. Hi, see me at the beach. I haven't seen you in a long time. Um, BST. Why do you think CW hasn't seen the results? I'm sure they showed him everything before he admitted his guilt. Yeah, they're just looking for anything to talk about. Hey, Amy, love me, my bad arse friend Carolyn. Love your message to the Watts. I'm like 10 minutes behind. However, so awesome to be a rambler. Thanks, Amy. Captain Barnes says somebody needs to alert Prime America about Kim's scam. Prime America does not allow their reps to pull these scams, and they would tell her to stop. Not that it would work, but still. Um, the Watts doing this just shows me how evil the whole Watts family is. Kim has the time because no one loves her. She has no one. She has no life. Yeah. She just drones on and on, listens to her own words. Um, it would make a difference even if it wouldn't make it even if it was he's still responsible for that baby dying. Kim is a nut job. Right, Jenna? Like I said, this is crucial. You guys have to realize again, like I said, I talked to Chris multiple times a day. Nobody has done what I've done. Kimmy, liar, liar, pants on fire. Yeah, she says the same things. And she'll always go, Make does that make sense? 
And every creator she saw was like, yeah. Especially the creators that don't know anything about true crime and they're like a deer in the headlights and they're just sitting there like this. Yeah. That makes sense. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah. Listen, guys, I'm just going to let her talk. Yeah. That makes sense. Wow, I want everybody to look at all sides. No, you can't ask, no, you can't ask an opposing question. Yeah. That's that's the creators she's on or the ones that are over the top with the conspiracy who are looking to blame Nicole Atkinson or Sandy and uh, other Kim's lies that, oh, she's got a recording. Where's the recording? Because I spoke to Sandy tonight. So let's, let's hear your recording. Otherwise, stop talking about it because you know there is none. And you're slandering people with lies. Nicole Atkinson and Sandy were talking bad about Shanann in a recording that Chris got is what you said, Kim. Bring your evidence on that. Okay? Send it over to me. Because you have none. So you need to stop talking about stuff and lying that you don't have. When she says, makes sense out of it. Does that make sense? Yeah. And every, every, yeah, it does. I'd be like, no, it doesn't make sense. Where, where does it make sense to you? Your reenactment? She won't go on any place where they'll ask her real questions. She won't go on any place where she'll have to, you know, back it up with real facts or anything. She says they have no evidence. They had evidence. She talks about the guy in the orange shirt at the gas station. Oh my gosh. Like, oh my gosh. If somebody thought that was Chris actually buying an unhealthy breakfast sandwich, that would have changed the whole case. People thought that for a while. Kim, do you know all kinds of stuff comes out like that in cases like that? It was a mistake. They thought it was Chris. It's not Chris. Okay? Big deal. <laughs> Buying a breakfast sandwich. So, Kim Kaufman said, we'll never have any credibility from here on out. Um, I'm sorry, loving Coco. She was not asked the questions she should have been. I've already went over that and she was cut off when she was saying certain things that she should have been called out on. She was just talked over. I saw that. She wasn't asked the tough questions. So no, she wasn't. I, I went over that of what she should have been asked then and how they cut her off just when she was saying something um, that would have been showed, her, you know, she was really bonkers out there. She was cut off loving Coco. So I don't know, maybe you need to go back and see my video because I did a whole response on that. Yeah, really. 100%. And there are, I don't know if you know this, there are also, I've been told, I don't watch that creator, but I have been told that there is conspiracy about swingers and Shanann being part of that kind of a lifestyle. And that is completely false and nothing but lies and conspiracy. And I don't, and you know, the Rusaks do not support anyone that does that lies and has conspiracy. And yes, I didn't see that video. I was told that it does indeed exist. I do not watch. The only reason I watched that one was because she was on that and I wanted to hear the lies she was spewing, Kim. But uh, yeah, 
conspiracy and talk about uh, Shanann being a swinger and maybe someone came out of that group and whatever, 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 whatever is all complete lies and just it's slanderous and we don't support it and the family doesn't support it. So, you know, you can, um, you, you know, whatever you want to do is up to you, but uh, no, I, that's, that's not considered uh, one of the creators that I'm talking about. You know, that's not one that's a tough one or anything like that. She won't, she won't show up on those. She definitely won't show up here. Louise Storr, thank you for becoming a deputy rambler. Um, Nitra says, she says that she writes and talks with Chris every day. Is it possible for prisoners to use? Yeah. Did you also notice the email that she had was sent at 1.36 a.m.? If I looked at that correctly, was that 1.36 a.m.? So prisoners are allowed to go shoot off an email at 1.36 a.m.? Because he doesn't have any devices. He shouldn't have any devices to email in his cell. So is he shooting off emails at 1.36 a.m.? I thought they have lights out at a certain time, and they're not up 1.36 a.m. to shoot emails off. Which one? The, the email was from November? I don't even... Uh, she said that couldn't be faked. That could be faked very easily. All it takes is a screenshot of Cindy, Jamie's, or Ronnie's email. No, it looked, yes, as if he can email, yeah, them at any time. They're so fake. You notice that too? Who emails at uh, 1 a.m. in jail? Who, who's allowed to do that? Was just open his cell door and decide to go over there. You present a fact when you have irreparable deal. What did Julie say? Julie Young, what'd she say? If they have nothing to hide, then let them know, or even the DA, they were into swinging before they had their kids. Excuse me, Julie Young. Plus she's... Julie Young, if she went on trips like the one to Arizona, that was a work trip. They weren't swinging, okay? Um, where's your proof, Julie Young? Do you want to call in? Where's your proof? Some YouTube creator? The YouTube creator that was just mentioned? That's your proof? Where's your proof? Julie Young, I'm calling you out. Where's your proof of that? You said something here with conviction. If you know anything about this case, then you would know. Yeah, we know she went, we went on trips. That's for work. What does it have to do with what you said, Julie? And I do know something about this case. So why don't you talk to me and tell me? Don't delete her, please. I, I, go ahead. Let's hear your proof, Julie. You want to call in? Where's your proof? What? Where is your proof, Julie? Another YouTube creator that just said it out of thin air? Where'd Julie go? Julie says, I didn't say Arizona. I said before they had kids. Julie, where is your proof? Even if she went on a trip without Chris, that doesn't mean she was a swinger. Where is your proof? Where is this even coming from? This is live right now. Yes, it is. Thanks, Lovin. Mm 
Yeah, I know, Nikita, right? That's what they say. Oh, well, somebody told me a source. Julie, there she goes. I don't have it on paper. Just, just as I don't have anything on paper? Did I just not show you that the Watts did not order the paternity, the DNA testing, the genetic testing that was done as part of this investigation? Is that not on paper in the discovery that I even gave you the page numbers for? What are you talking about, Julie? You don't have it on paper. Where did you even get this from? Another YouTube creator? What you have is speculation. That's what you have, Julie. You don't have facts at all. Julia. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I don't want to mix it up with you, Julie. I'm sorry. It's Julia Young. Okay. Oh, see, Sandy's here. No worries, Carolyn. Our daughter's an amazing lady. Yes, we know that. They're just running on speculation. Before you're ahead, go sniff some more glue. Oh, I thought that was Caden. I'm sorry. I thought that was Julie saying that. Julie, you've, you've suddenly came out. No, I didn't say that. I was reading a comment. <laughs> It doesn't matter what happened. Julie Young, the one who needs proof is you. You are the one that's... Yeah, Julie, you came in here stating something as a fact and you don't have anything to back it up. Nothing. What does her sex life have to do with anything? The fact that CW is a piece of garbage. Some people must be super miserable in life. Someone. Julie and Kim and Liz. Super idiots. You sent me an email. Oh, no, Alyssa. Well, I'll be on later about that. I'm really sorry. I don't understand, but I, I will listen to that. It's Julia. I know. I know, Julie. I'm sorry. That, don't confuse it with just Julie. It, it's Julia Young. I'm sorry that's saying this. Where did my little... I'm a member. It's not there, Janine. I don't know. Could it have expired? I know there's there's wacky things happening with the membership because there are icons that are not. So it might just be a YouTube glitch. Let's see if it works itself out. And even if Shanann was the biggest swinger, what does it have to do with? Right. They're just trying to assassinate her character do you understand that they're they're trying to do that in order they think it makes chris look better that's why um i was speaking earlier before when she went on um that other creator and she said that the ring doorbell first of all it wasn't even a ring doorbell it was a vivant doorbell this is how much she knows about the case and does sandy have anything she would want us to donate in memory of shenan well, always to the Lupus uh, Foundation, St. Jude, and um, Missing and Exploited Children's Foundations. Those are three charities she supports, you know, very much. And we do have the St. Jude direct link to donate right in the chat. Nightbot puts that out. But... Um, what was I just going to say? Oh, yeah, they, they, they're they going with this full narrative that the ring doorbell that they didn't have, it was a Vivint doorbell, Kim, um, picked up a conversation between Nicole Atkinson and Sandy where they were saying really bad things about Shanann. And when Chris heard it, because he heard it from the oil site, this is, this is what Kim said, that he said, oh, no, what other things was Shanann into that I didn't know? What other bad things? That's the narrative they're spinning. 
that's lies and Julia Young is probably someone connected to that narrative. So they're trying to get this, what they feel is unfair direction that, that people are, have an opinion of Chris that he's a monster, a murderer, and they want to get that off of him. And they want to put that he wasn't. And they're trying to do that by assassinating Shanann's character. So they're going to do that in any way possible. So what are they doing now? They have Ronnie coming out and saying that they don't believe the baby was Chris's. They're going to say that she was had a whole other life going on, that she was a swinger and all this stuff. And anybody with half a brain can see where they're going with it. But, you know, Cindy is trying to change the opinion of her son, of the public's opinion. And if she could get 50% of the people to think her son is not a monster, then she's going to be happy with that. So she's going to come on here. She has Kim on YouTube doing all this, spewing all these lies in order to get people to see Chris in a different light. Okay. But if you know the facts and you've studied the case, you know exactly the spotlight is shining on him as the monster murderer, family annihilator that he is. Apples don't fall far from the tree. And this is all concocted by his family. It's my opinion on the family. We, it's fact of who he is and what he did. <clears throat> Bottom line is Chris Watts murdered his wife and three children. What else more evil than that? Absolutely, Susie Snowflake. And no one deserves to be murdered. No, no one deserves to be murdered. Still does not change the monstrosities he committed. Absolutely. Absolutely. Chris Watts sells friendships. Mm. Julia must be Kim as she has nothing relevant or true to say. Right. Rotten apples for sure. It is really sad that they are saying that about someone that cannot defend herself. File, specifically when you see her last video, getting home, tired, feeling ill, and emotional because of him. Absolutely, PM. I can't believe anyone takes Kim seriously, Cabin Dweller says. She is not the sharpest knife in the drawer. She makes no sense. Right. Advocate says no. Nobody believes the narrative. Of the Kim people, no one, they are just crazy. I see a call log, Carolyn. Kim isn't talking to him daily. Oh, I know, I know, I know, our Huff. If she really had all these calls, she wouldn't have had to use one from back in, uh, what, February of, of 2019? CW is nothing but a liar. He's not a true Christian, in my opinion. He can't keep up with the lies he's told so many. And Brandy says, Sandra, Shanann is a beautiful soul inside and out. This is all trash. Yep. Julie just, Julie just came in with her poop stirring stick. She's gone now. Yeah. Okay. Entire spiral ended in the entire family being destroyed. Yes. Has anyone reported Kim's video? That was said by Renee Fab Nene. Diane says, just email Carolyn and she will email you back the number. Who wants to call in? Who's Kimberly Rose? The Watts agenda is backfiring. They are more hated than they were before. Exactly what I said earlier. Yes, Ali Ross. This proves what poor Shanann was dealing with. Cindy is one nasty, vindictive, 
narcissistic, vile person. And then Oliver says, Cindy never forgave Shanann for letting Chris murder her. Uh, fractured fairy tale says, so vile. Abigail Rose says, CW is nothing but a liar. Okay. Like that. What Kim says about the morning of at survey is absolute BS, Casey says. Cindy needs to stop hiding behind Kim. Why doesn't she speak up? Because they think Kim will get a better result because Cindy is not well-liked. That's why they had Ronnie speak out. In Shanann's eyes, her world was falling apart only to be murdered by her husband. Shanann is innocent. Absolutely, Jinger. Um, C.W. really believes in God. Why is he worried about a trial for the truth? It should be good enough that him and God know the truth, but unfortunately for C.W., God knows the truth. It was all him. BST says. Maybe the Watts will talk enough that they can be sued and all that insurance money will go where it rightfully should have gone in the first place. I think he says. Brooks Channel says even YouTube guidelines have updated and state hate speech is considered to be using hate towards victims of major violent events and their kin. Yeah, if only YouTube would uphold their terms of service, we would see a lot of channels um, be accountable for what they do. Millie says, I don't think the Watts even knew their son. They only saw what they wanted to see. Susan Redding says, I understand having unconditional love for a child. What she is doing is about her own ego, absolutely, and how people see him as he is a version of her. Absolutely, Susan. Communique. He doesn't always read, so we all understand. What is it? Daniel wants something? Heart made wise. I bet Smo Nicole says, I bet you Cindy blames Shanann for her son having to murder her. The lady is a loony. Nicole says, worst mother-in-law ever, loving Coco says, poor Shanann. I can't find Good evening. I've never actually answered any questions. I only was able to watch for a short time. Her voice is terrible. Cindy Watts is a nut, Amazing Grace says. Fun to be blonde, says Kim has known nothing to help the Watts, has done nothing to help the Watts image. Right, yeah. What they've done is just made themselves look worse and worse. Sure. Oh, this is Lisa. Let me um, put your wrench on your na new name here because, hold on. I didn't know that you had to, hold on. Let me do this before I forget. There, Lisa H., you should have your, um, should show up with your wrench soon that you had. Cindy Watts believes Shanann took her baby boy away once because of his action. Shanann has taken him away for life. I'm sure this psychotic is so unhinged she's blaming Shanann for her murder. Yeah, right. And then YT Psych Myth says Kim is nothing more than a publicist who uses censorship to push a specific narrative and sick agenda. Love your channel. Thank you, YT Psych Myths. Associated. Um, you're welcome, Susie Snowflake. What is the wrench for? It to take out the, uh, you know, to deal with any any stuff in the chat. 
a moderator in the chat. That's Lisa H. She's been here for a long time, but something happened to her account. She had a I don't know, change her name or something, so I was just putting that on. Um, let's see. Mert says, I've seen it first time I ever went on that channel to see what they were saying. That girl says CW told her personally. Oh, are you talking about uh, the one that's marrying Dylan? Is that what you're talking about? People that talk badly about Shanann are just jealous of her. Heather Ann says, the ones who look up to her and fight for her see her true beauty and spirit. She will forever be remembered. Yes, Heather Ann. Absolutely. Kim's 15 minutes of fame is coming to an end. Now there are new CW friends claiming that they know the real truth, giving all sorts of interviews and making money off the victims. Stephanie says, Sandra Narati is one of the strongest humans. Can't imagine going through what he put you through. You have a beautiful family that will always be with you. I'm really disgusted by the Watts, really, Ross. Yeah, absolutely. If Cindy keeps spewing her hatred, more and more people are only going to hate her. Well, it's obvious. She can't leave her comments on. For what reason? Because she wants this to be about Chris, she says. And she that's all lies because her comments were on before. She can't leave her comments on because she doesn't want anyone, and they don't want to see, that people don't believe the lies, okay? They can't be in denial with the comments on. She also went to members-only chat because she knows the majority of people are not going to pay to tell her the truth because they don't want to give her any of their money. So she's going to have just the few that are there, probably Cindy, Ronnie, and Jamie, um, tell her. The last time there were so few people in the chat, she tried to bring it to Patreon, and she still does, but there's not enough people that she won't bring it back to YouTube as she did. So, yeah. Sandy says, thank you, everyone. We appreciate the love and support. Yes, you always have our love and support. We do know the truth, and we will always fight for Shanann and all victims. She did what to the channel, and she said, just for you guys. What? I didn't hear what you're saying. Now it's popped up, and I can't read it. Uh, yeah, Tehad, the, she, re, she played a little tiny thing of the same clip after the Wisconsin uh, interview, which was February of 2019. So far, that's the only clip of a conversation she plays. Kind of weird for a person that's supposed to speak to him multiple times a day, every day, that it's always the same phone call, right? If she spoke to him, why wouldn't she have him do what Ronnie did? Have him say, hi, Kim. I want to send a message to everyone that I support your channel. I'm in full support of your channel, and I truly believe all these things that you're saying. Why not? Watts will never, ever put Shanann's light out. Ali Ross says, Cindy, you will be forever remembered as the sick, twisted, bitter, nasty old hag who is filled with hate and envy. Lena says, did I hear someone say Cindy is mad at Shanann? They said that given her state of mind, that she probably might be, you know? Lena, that's what they're saying, to say just how crazy it is. Shay Shay says, Sandra, you're welcome. We love Shanann and the kids. Thank you for representing Shanann. You raised such a loving, beautiful woman and mom. Cynthia says, Chris Watts and Shanann planned this baby together. This is disgusting. How could Shanann have not known what a pathological liar Chris is? Jennifer Markovich says, Cindy, you and... 
You mean Sandy, I think, and you don't mean Cindy. Sandy, you and Frank raised Shanann to be a wonderful woman, mother and wife. Look how that evil SOB was raised, raised to be evil. Advocate says, no, Kim doesn't have children. She said she did not. Cause Love and Life's the call with Ronnie was so scripted, it was very obvious. Sandra is here. Yes, it is the real Sandra for those asking. Yes, it is. Speeches. Why is anyone giving? Why? Because uh, she said that if the Rusaks do not get back to her with the paternity results, that they're, she's just going to take that as the child was not Chris's. And that first is a ridiculous thing to put onto the Rusak family. Second of all, Ronnie already got the results through the DA. And if he needs clarification and wants to make a fool of himself and ask the DA, what Chris? Then he should call the DA's office in the morning and get that information, not put it on the Rusaks to give them information. That is just ridiculous. That's why. I don't see how the Watts can be so blind to their son's lies, so much denial. The Watts and Kim claim all these facts, and then their source is Chris. It's lunacy. Oh, so that's why she said she would let CW watch her kids because she has none. Yeah. She, she said that, it, well, if I had some, I would let him watch them because this would have never happened. You've reported her crap over and over, Cup of Star says, like I'm sure many have. I still can't understand how she's still standing. Nikita A says, can't believe how hated Kim's actions are among people. Nikita A, can't believe. I'm confused. Nikita, what are you saying? You're saying you can't believe that people are upset with Kim? Is that what you're saying? I'm, I'm not, I don't know if I'm understanding your comment correctly, and I don't want to jump to a conclusion, you know? Questioning Nico's paternity as a disgrace. Catherine says Kitty Cat says Shanann was beautiful and so were the children. Fun to be blonde in New York City. He said yes, Kim has suggested that the CW wasn't provided the DNA and then reacted by concluding the disgusting thought about the paternity. Right. Oh, yes. And she also said that the, the Rusex had to question the paternity. Otherwise, there would have never been a paternity test requested which shows she doesn't have any idea of how a homicide investigation with a pregnant female is run with the husband and the, you know, and the wife and the unborn baby and the two girls killed. Yes, that's part of an investigation. The Rusegs did not order that. Exactly. How would, if their defense had ended up that it went to trial and let's say Chris's defense was that his wife was having an affair and the baby wasn't his and that man, the father of the baby, killed the whole family. Well, how would they prove that if they didn't do the paternity test with the DNA testing? How would they go to, tr that, that would be a severe, you know, misstep on the prosecution. They had to do that. The Rusaks did not request that. That's part of a homicide investigation. I think it's good for the Rusaks to see that people support them through these counter live streams. Right, Sarah, yeah. Hey, not your buddy. Jenny Barnes says, Sandra, you raised a beautiful daughter and you are an extremely courageous woman and family. Sarah says, that's what I was saying. Obviously the paternity would be tested during the autopsy, during a case in which the father is the suspect. Absolutely, Sarah. Kim doesn't know that, though. 
it's not even lies anymore, it's pure insanity. The others actually following her must be insane, Cup of Stars says. Debbie Diamond says, Sandra, Shanann was raised right and such a beautiful woman. My heart goes out to you for your loss. I think you raised one kick-ass young lady. I'm tired of hearing CW's rights were taken away from him by forcing him to confess. He was never forced to confess. Yep, Heather Ann. Can we have a delay? Oh, yeah, okay, Sharon. Let me see. Oh, I have to just go on the edit part now. That's where it is. Live chat. All right, you got your five second delay there. He knows Phil well, the little baby was his. Why is he allowing him to add this insult and run around with it? Right, right, Kara. I don't think he knows half of what's going on. But they know their son did it. They just want they just want Linda Uribe, they just want to resurrect his image. Remember he said he hoped he wouldn't be judged on this one event and he hoped that people could find him a good person again that's what they're trying to do they're trying to erase this and how can they do that well then they can try to make him not look responsible for all of this look you know make Shanann look really bad and dark and just they're doing whatever they can to to make him look better to make even 50% of the people that know about this case think better of him. Communique says, thank you, Carolyn. That would be so much better to be able to watch the chat too. My heart breaks for Robin Wyatt. Do you mean Sandy? I'm confused if you, do you mean Sandy, Robin? Or do you mean... I'm hoping you mean Sandy. Cindy wants to have the last word on everything. Does it matter if it's all lies? It's not one event. It's four events that took place. Yes, right, 12 Step 1. I wish Shanann and her children could get the love, respect, and boundaries and death that the Watts family denied them in life. Michelle. Spent the day with my dad and grandma at their graves, decorated for Christmas. Bless those that have their children alive. Yes, advocate. Sandy, your daughter and grandchildren are absolutely beautiful inside and out. I'm sorry for what your family's still going through. If Chris thought she was cheating, why would he correct Her when she texted our baby right before he took her life, right? Does Colorado not recognize the Slayer's Law? Well, he's not supposed to make any money on this. He, he can't because he owes a considerable, what, $6 million to the Rusacks. He owes restitution to Weld County. So yes, that is recognized that he's not supposed to be. Absolutely. Looking to... Jenny Barnes. Okay, so let me just check if anybody... Someone said someone was sending an email for something. I'm not sure what. Oh, hold on a second. Um, Alyssa.
Crafton, okay. Crafton, a couple of people want to call in about this. So let me just, I have to move this off the screen because you know our lovely um, people get our number and that's how they were calling in. So I've just got to move this off so they can call, I can get the number. Just, I'll put it right back. Don't let the blue screen scare you. If you want, so you don't get scared, I'll just put that up there. So you know that we're still live here. Now just one second while I get the invitation. So I can send it to people that want to call in. And close. Okay. Okay, so Crafton sent the number out to you. And okay. Sorry, I had to go back to the chat. Okay, so we have a couple people that want to call in. Um, Heather Ann says, I honestly don't think anyone else was involved. CW took four beautiful lives all on his own. And he says, Kim is an idiot, thinking her calls aren't listened to and kept. Hi, Carol Boyce. Love and prayers to your family, Sandra, Tracy W. I hope you're feeling better, Tracy W. <clears throat> Communique says, for anyone that missed it, Shanann's mother posted here in chat at 1149. I'm astounded she's decided to come out like this, even speaking. My head is spinning well. I don't believe. She's, she's here after that, um, Communique. She's been here... Well, maybe it's your time is different than ours. You would love to call in, Stephanie. Mrs. R, you should do a cookbook. See, uh, see, Sandy, Oliver says it too. She should do a cooking show on YouTube. She's cooking like a, like a crazy woman. <laughs> Setting be pictures, you know, and making like 15 different things at one time. Okay. Julie Cohen says, I love that Sandra has her daughter's back even today. Absolutely. Hi, Crofton. How are you? Oh, he's connecting his audio. Yes, I haven't caught up in chat. Okay, come in. He Crisslined. Crisslined. Uh, Craft Craft can you hear? Uh, yeah, let me let me go in and mute the YouTube. Okay. There we go. Can you hear me? Yes, perfectly. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah, um, I think I just received a copyright privacy strike from Kim Kaufman on one of my videos for really? saying her name. Really? Yeah, it's, it doesn't tell you who the person is that strikes it, but, you know, it says an individual, but it gives you the timestamps where it says, and I just went and checked, and it's it's on one of those joke videos I made where I was uh, pretending to break 
uh, mm-hmm. CW out of jail. You know, I had the one where I was like, we're breaking out, but we're still chatting with people. That was the joke. Right. And then I was like, okay, well, this is now people think I'm sympathetic to him. So let's pretend we're on a manhunt for him. So I switched it over to we're on a manhunt for him. And that's the one she struck because I said, Kim Kaufman gave us the information where he's supposed to meet him up at. That's really weird. I was like, okay, yeah. Right. So what did you, did you, um, I didn't cont- I mean, it literally while I was waiting on the email back from you is how I got the email. Oh, okay. Cause I, <laughs> yeah. I think she might've done that to one of mine. Just when I said exactly what Cindy said and something that's public in her name and her state. And, um, I, I wrote back to them and I said, you know, because we were, and they didn't take it down. They reviewed it and it's been up there. So she can, she can file a violation. But, but it doesn't um, mean it's going to automatically. Right, uh, right. Absolutely. Right. It's, it's got oh, to well. be, it has to meet cri- certain criteria. And saying her name is not that. Her name is out there. Cindy Watts put her name out there. You know? Absolutely. Right, right. right. She her did. name is public. Her name has been out there. That's what initially made me wonder if, um, and you were the one that turned me on to this, if um, one, of your, one of your lives, you were talking about Nick the Hat. And I thought it was quite odd that the first time that, um, Kim, her first video or one of them, she actually used the your content footage. Mm-hmm. And I was like, you know, and, and and then isn't that the footage is where Cindy Watts is saying Kim yes. Coffin's name? Yes. So it's and probably state, more and her she, state. Yeah. So, I mean, Cindy Watts, she should get Cindy Watts for privacy right. violation. So, yeah, yeah. yeah. But I know I thought for a split second, I was like, I wonder if Nick the Hat and this Kim Coffin are working together on this. Right. Yeah. It's uh, very strange. I don't think so. What I wanted to call and ask you about, though, you had said it on another live early on that um, when Kim first appeared about how, her being a um, multi-level marketer and it was something about a Pearl thing, I guess mm-hmm. she was doing. And I started researching her and found that she still has a current active license with Primerica. And I so I did a bunch of research on Primerica and they're basically like a cult. I mean, they they have pages of people complaining about um, once you're in, you know, everything is everybody gets a piece of what the people underneath them sell for years and years to come. Mm-hmm. And so I wasn't able to actually like get in touch with somebody from Primerica and validate that she's still with them or not. But I did get on this blog that was tearing down, I mean, the hundreds and hundreds of people that have been ripped off by Primerica. So the owner of that blog, I asked them, I was like, how long do people generally stick with Primerica when they get involved? She said that usually it's seven to eight out of 10 people that get involved with it will quit within a year or two before, and because they haven't mm-hmm. made any money. Well, she's still listing listed on it after seven years. And so I asked this woman, her name was Tracy something. Um, I, I said, well, well, it was the same question. She said, if they uh, start saying that they're a regional manager or regional director, then they have ascended up to this next tier in the upline. And those people are usually lifers that stay with it forever. So I was like, well, okay, so and, and also that the Primerica licenses licenses expire uh, every two years. They have to redo their license. I don't know if that's with Primerica or if it's the in Utah. You know, she has her license with Utah right, as an right. insurance salesman or salesperson. Sorry, and um, so I in along the way with my research, and this is why I thought you would be a good person to ask. This one woman, there is a video out there and you just search for it. It says why I quit Primerica. And there's this lady who got written up by her, uh, uh, people above her in Primerica for attempting to start another MLM thing. Mm -hmm. And that she wasn't allowed to sell anything and make money on the side and let you know uh, and still be with primerica so the woman chose to quit that's why she quit and that's what the video is and so it makes me wonder if the reason for all this cloak and dagger with never showing her face never saying her own name all of these things are to just technically just to hide from them could be because there was somebody recently that she was selling like sensi or something and did some questionable activity on youtube and sensi 
you know, said you can't right. work with this anymore. And Sensi is another, you know, it's that multi-level marketing. But yeah, so they pulled that on her because of this questionable activity. And so, yeah, very possible that she is, you know. Right. So that, that mean, that's, um, and, and the more I learn about the Prime America people, it is literally, it's very cultish. It's very, uh, the Hector Lamarck tapes and the, uh, the A.L. Williams, the guy that started it, uh, you watch some of their, um, speeches that they give they literally Hector Lamarck has got hours of how to respond to objections to purchasing these insurance policies and and different things and you hear the same cadences and the same expressions in everything that Kim says I mean she must say uh like I said like every other sentence oh, yeah, she's always yeah. and that's kind of you know so I don't know it's just to me I just think that the what, what's happening is she's trying to market something. Someone in the chat said how she's like being his publicist. And I think that it is literally a case of hybrid. I think she's really in love with him, but I honestly wonder now if it is some kind of thing that he's running to try to keep some prison justice from happening. Because he's in general population. But he's not in general population. Not, he is not. The NYPD channel guy was saying that he is and so i thought he was he is not he would never last in general population no he is not okay yeah because she was saying he's in general population is just cell door is open eight hours a day he is 100 percent not i think what they're doing by going saying that is to try to show that he's liked by the other prisoners that he, she, because she's saying he's helping them, he's doing all this stuff for them. It's all going with this narrative that he's a really good guy and he's very well liked, and that's not. He, he is definitely not in uh, general population. Well, kind of answers that, I guess. But yeah, oh, that was that was. Uh, I'm just really oh, you can't hold on because I let me see because I just they said there was an echo and so I chid something, but now they're saying. You can't, you can't hear him now, or you can? Let, let me know. I tried to fix the echo. Maybe I can just click here. Hold on. Let me see. Okay. Now, now it, hopefully, it'll be better now. There is a little echo. Let's see. Can That's you hear so. me now? Is that better or worse? Hello. Can you guys hear now? We have them on a five. Okay. What about now? Say, say something. Hey. Um. All of the, uh, I don't know, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, touch it, elemental B. I think I know my ABCs. Uh, Q, R, S, T, V. You, okay, F, they can y. hear you now. Yeah. They, okay, cool. They, yes. Okay. Um, but the last little statement I want to make about the Primerica thing is uh, as I was researching them, I really, I did not, was not aware that there's a huge community on YouTube of anti-MLM. Oh, yeah, people. yeah, there are. There are LuLaRoe and all kinds of things. Yeah, because, you know, not everybody does well in them. A lot of people lose mm. a lot, you know, so it's... Uh... So anyway, that's what that's. I just wanted to ask if you knew anything about her involvement with the Primerica had that come across your research because I didn't know. I still have not been able to definitively say that she is still actively with them because her license could be independent of them. Mm -hmm. So. so I know who's this? But yeah, it could be a reason she's trying to keep it calm, but. Yeah, I can't believe she's still, let me see if she did any, if she sent anything else in, you know, because I, I've told them it's harassment now because there's nothing. And after a while, if they just keep doing that, like if you tell YouTube, she'll, her channel will get shut down for, you know, she's just doing all these privacy complaints and they're fake. Like being a lit, litid, litigious client or whatever. Yeah, yeah, Overly absolutely. Overly lit, litigious, yeah. That she's just, you know, because it, it wastes their time and everything. And so the best thing you can do is tweet to Team YouTube mm -hmm. because they'll listen on Twitter. And then once they start a dialogue with you through the DMs in Twitter, you'll always have that open. So you can go and direct message them. But if you just put it first, you know, at Team YouTube, they'll answer you and just say, I you know, it's harassment. There's no violation. And this has been done to other creators Mm -hmm. And I need you to look at this, you know, and, yeah. and just keep tweeting that several times a day and, and ask people to retweet it and just get it out there. And 
you know, it's um, because otherwise, yeah, that's exactly what uh, they'll keep doing. And if some, you know, once they get a, because so they definitely have one from me. So if you have one from you, then they'll start looking at this person and yes, yeah, she will get her channel shut down if she doesn't stop because yeah. saying her name, saying your name, Kim, is not a privacy complaint because uh, Cindy Watts has made your name completely public and so have other people here. And she's also made your state completely public and everything else. That's not a privacy complaint. No. So. Well, I'm going to let you go. I'm, I'm still watching, but I'm, I'm going to do some other stuff. But okay, I just, yeah, I wanted to sure. Come well, and, say, for... and I also wanted to tell you, you know, this entire time for two years, your channel has really been the only one that seems to be logical and sane and that you can always return to to actually hear you know, real discussion. And I really appreciate that. But there's so many of these channels that are um, sensationalizing it all, especially since the Netflix thing came out. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. But we can always depend on Carolyn and mommy ramblings to to actually hit the oh. truth and stick with it. So well, thank you. And, you. and you have a channel you said so? Yeah, my, my Craft and Barnes is just Craft my YouTube. And Barnes. Okay, let me just. And I've got the joke videos where we're pretending to Break out. My joke there, just since I'm on here and I let everybody to tell them what it is, but when Kim first came out, every video she was putting out, she had the word breaking on it on the oh, title. Yeah, yeah. And that was to grab everybody's attention. And I thought it was just a marketing trick. And I was like, and then you had that weird NK's cousin channel coming out at the same time. And by the way, so Craft, my, my is that, joke. Is that your the, channel? That's your channel, right? The one that just it says uh, how Netflix started Chris Watts. Yes, yes, yeah. Okay, yeah, I'll yeah. put it in the, uh, in the, in Thanks. the chat. Um, but the joke was that this is like everybody is slapping the word breaking and Chris Watts in the same sentence to get views. Oh, yeah. And so I said in the group unmasking, I was like, I'm ready to just run down the street with my phone live and say breaking Chris Watts out of jail. And I'll bet you that people will watch it. And uh, it was just a joke. So that's what all that's about. And so uh, anyway, but yeah, apparently uh, Kim Coffin doesn't like the joke anymore. So she reported it. But, oh, uh, okay. Yeah, just keep is. fighting it. Yeah, I mean, you just bring it to Team YouTube and so. let them know. Okay. But thank you. I'm going right. to keep watching. Best of luck. Let me know how that goes. Absolutely. Thank you again. Okay. All right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Sloppy? Sloppy, are you there? Sloppy? I can't hear you. Not very well at all. You sound really far away. Okay. Um, I'm trying to figure this out here. That's better. Okay. So my thing is, I, I like to listen to all sides. And I'm totally okay with, you know, giving this guy or giving Kim, you know, a, a, an hour of my time to listen to what she has to actually say. But at this point, I think she's just grasping for straws. There's no way, no way he's going to get out of jail. Even if, let's just hypothetically say he's going to go back and get a court case. Okay, let's just, let's just put it out there. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think he will. And he gets, he gets his day in court and he has his trial for killing Shanann. And let's say hypothetically, which I don't believe, but she killed the kids. Mm -hmm. He's still going to stay in jail for killing her. Right. I, I don't get what Kim's trying to do here. Well, I think that's, that, that's the reason I think it's mostly about resurrecting his character. That's the number one concern. Because I don't think, I, it's my opinion, that Cindy would even care as much if he stayed in prison as long as his image and he was there as a good guy that, you know, got a really tough break with his marriage and it wasn't his fault kind of thing, you know what I'm saying? And then he's taking responsibility for rage killing Shanann and he didn't kill his kids and he did, you know, she doesn't, the oil tanks is just going to be there going to try to explain that away that he had no, no other, nothing he could do. And, right. you know, it's all like that. And they think, okay, this is going to resurrect his character because he was just the perfect person before. And so that this shouldn't really make a difference. And I think that's the number one concern. Then if he did, um, you know, they're thinking, well, if it did lead to some kind of a appeal for him, that would be great. But I think the number one agenda is to create a narrative 
that makes him not such a monster. Right. Everybody yeah. finds God when he goes to jail. Everyone's innocent. You know what I'm saying? Right. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Absolutely. And, I really uh, feel that there, I, I don't think Shanann killed the kids whatsoever. But a part of me, a little part of me doesn't think he did it either. I think it was, it was uh, the girlfriend. I don't know. I, I think, honestly, I think it was Jim. Jim is too suspect in this. Like how all of a sudden when she was in the, in the police department and, and, you know, she controlled the narrative there. Yeah, but do you do realize there were other interviews after the ones that are, that are public with her? with the investigators, there were other interviews that have not been released and they've not been released because Chris had confessed and they, they weren't released. So they they, they did a thorough investigation and they did look into all of the things people think they didn't because it hasn't been released, but, um, no, you know, it's, this is Chris. Did they look into Jim? Yeah, they looked, that's, they conducted a full investigation. They searched her car and stuff, but that's not, it, it, you just see the um, detective making the appointments for the subsequent interviews with her and for the search of her vehicle. Um, but that's not in the discovery because they didn't release that out. So yes, um, people think, oh, it's not thorough because this wasn't, this. things were done that the public doesn't know about, but a thorough about investigation right. was done. Yeah, I, I I just don't see what her her end game is here. She it's was like, a catalyst, definitely a catalyst. Okay, there's no doubt about that. She was a catalyst, um, you know. And it is you know sketchy. I mean, it was sketchy to us that he came, Jim came to town the same day, and stayed for a few hours and left. That the August thirteenth, that was kind of sketchy, but. You know, it was checked out and it could have been for, you know, a lot of other reasons that he was coming to town because, you know, she thought maybe her new life was going to start and he was going to help with a cleanup or something that never happened. Okay. I think it's more likely that's what he was in town for. He was in town to help the cleanup actions and it didn't happen because Nicole Atkinson got to that house. And I truly think that's why Jim was there. But that's my opinion. But then if that, even if that is, it doesn't. He's not implicated because he never got to help with anything like that. It, we'll never know. We can no. sit here for, for hours and you know act like I. I, I think everyone is um, a professional at this case at this point. You know what I'm saying? Like everyone knows everything, but we'll never know the truth. We'll never know the truth because he'll come out in another six months with another confession or go back to the original. And I, I just, I, I don't, he's not going to get out. I don't understand why he's he, not going to get out and he's where he belongs. And he, you know, took their lives and then he disposed of them in the most horrific way ever. And it's just one lie after another with him. And he still continues to lie. And the, the, the most outrageous lie of all is she, people say, well, why did he do Cato's book. And why did he say that? Because he found God. Well, well, he wanted his testimony out there. So a man that wants his testimony out there lies in a, in a horrific confession that if it wasn't true, like they're saying now, would only horrify the, the victim's family. But he did this to get his testimony out there. That doesn't make a bit of sense now, does it? Yeah, no. Okay. And to them, it makes sense. Now, can I ask you your stance on the girls on on when they were um, when when they were killed? What, what do you See, think? And and it may differ with you know even what Sandra believes, but I think the girls were killed before Shanann got home that night. I think that's why he said there was no turning back. Um, but you know, there's also that he. She tried to do it that morning at home, and, you know, he says they got up. To me, I just can't believe anything. I know he killed them, right? But he's so many versions of his story now. And one would say, well, why would he come up with such a hurt? Like, wouldn't he dial it back, you know, try to say something? Like, you would think he would say they were, they were, they were very, I put, gave them a lot of Benadryl. They didn't feel anything, right? 
try to make it more humane, if you will, than to bring it that he did what he did out in the oil field with Bella watching Cece, that horrific sight that the family has to live with and a vision, right? And then he takes it even farther with Cadle and, and, and says that he, he killed the kids twice. I mean, it's outrageous. Like, he keeps going. So what is it going to be the fourth or the fifth time? You know, I don't know. He just, I, I wouldn't, how could anybody really believe anything he says? He yeah. failed that lie detector for a reason. He's a liar. You I know? like how they say, oh, well, they were asking about Shanann, not the kids. Well, isn't it all the same? Right. He lied, you know, but, the, you know, oh, I wish he threw the kids in, you know, um, but he, he's just a liar. And yeah, go ahead and hook him up and give him one of the kids and guarantee I'll fail again anyway. Oh, sure. Sure. Yeah. But it's just um, anybody that would, you know, to me, I think he's even more sadistic than people want to say. And I think he came up with these other confessions to hurt um, people even more. That's what I think. And I'd like to believe that because I don't want to believe it. Maybe it's just me. I don't want to believe those little girls suffered that they suffered enough, but I don't want to believe that Bella had to see what he's trying to say, you know, with, with seeing Cece because she loves Cece so much. And I, I can't even imagine, but maybe that's my own, um, just my own psyche that I couldn't even take to, to believe what he said is real in that part, you know? Well, yeah, I, I just, 45 minute drive with her alive. And then, well, wasn't it that both of the girls were alive at that point? And yeah, yeah, yeah. That, well, if you really leave the, the, believe the last one with Cadle, they had already been what he thought was killed and they got up and then he took them on a ride and killed them again at the oil field. Yeah, it's a miracle both of them got back up. You know what I'm saying? Right, like, right, yeah. Yeah. It's sick. I, I just don't understand why she keeps doing this. Like, I'm, I'm totally open to listening to it. Okay, I'll listen to it. I'll see what your point of view is. All right, cool, whatever. You know what I'm saying? But every video is 100% positively the same. Like, you know how she says, 100%. Right, right, right. You'll look at the evidence. Go look at the evidence I have. And she just points to that reenactment. Like, that's not evidence. That's a big deal, you know? <laughs> they're just circles she doesn't answer any questions right right and now now the rumor has it that she supposedly knew shanann and chris watts prior to the deaths and she's been there since day one like it's so much drama just why can't we just let them go in peace she definitely didn't know chris because even his mother confirmed that when she was telling him about at the jail at with at the phone call she said this woman Kim and said her last name and everything and where she's from contacted us and she's supportive of you. She, he had, he had no idea who she was. She yeah, she uh, might yeah, have written him in, in. So in, now in I have one more question. And I'll let you go. Mm -hmm. The the girlfriend Anna. Now is she has the picture now. Yes. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. It was a pleasure talking to you. Oh, thank you for calling in. Hey, no problem. Okay. Bye bye. Bye. Okay. Um, lie to lie. I'd rather listen. Yeah, absolutely. All right, guys. So, well, that is all the love I got. CC. Now, um, so many lies I cannot keep up. Sarah. So that's about it. You know, hopefully she gets the message and she doesn't go on and say, I didn't hear back. That must mean this. I cannot stop watching content. I won't listen to someone who slanders and desecrates four beautiful souls over and over again with no foundation and the only purpose and for only purpose to smear them. Right. Absolutely. She's crazy and money hungry, KK. Don Adams says, Teresa says, I thought she was Jamie's friend. No, you're thinking, no. That was uh, Kelly that was Jamie's friend. Cindy has been through a lot of people to tell her, to tell her narrative, okay? 
since she's been through Kelly and then Kelly and Mel, Kel and Mel, remember that? And that channel went up and down. Um, she's been through Cadle. She's been through the woman with all my broken pieces. She's been through Anna. Who else do we have that she's been through? And Kim actually was finished. She's been through Mensa. Um, and then she was brought back again because uh, she posted something on Cindy's Facebook. I guess Cindy said she wasn't aware of because Cindy gave her the password. And I think there was a falling out for a time. And then as Cindy went through these other people and burned their, her bridges with them, then she, um, Stephanie, okay. Then she ended up where she is. And she's back. And how long that will last before that goes sour, you know, the track record is right there. Um, okay, hang on. Um, Shoot. Stephanie, I just sent you the wrong thing. Hang on, and I think I just sent the wrong the wrong thing to you guys. I sent you Crofton's YouTube um, <laughs> channel by accident because that was the last thing that I was uh, playing. Let me see here. Uh, we don't have school tomorrow. Unfortunately, for those of you that didn't hear and those of you that didn't hear, there's been another case uh, among a staff member at our school, so our school is closed um, is tomorrow. That's not fair. Ethan's is fine. Yeah, Ethan's is fine. That's why Ethan's not here. But closed again. It'll probably be closed for two weeks, if not. Well, now because of Christmas, it'll probably just, they probably won't open it again until after the Christmas. So early. Christmas break starts on December 24th. Yeah, well, yours starts tomorrow. Okay, let me see. I I have to just get the. Uh... I don't work to do, too, but they still give you work. Mm -hmm. Not any normal day. Sorry, uh, let me see. Okay. I'll send the numbers now for you, those of you. That, uh... So yeah, the, the link you got was Crofton's channel, Stephanie. So and Kimberly, I'll give you the right links now. Okay, there you go, um, back to this. Okay, what happened to, uh, she's not involved with you know, this as far as I know. She hasn't represented this uh, part of it for, I don't know what her friendship is with uh, Kelly anymore. She was more Kelly's friend than Jamie's friend from what I understand, but um, yeah. Cindy has a little black book labeled people who support Chris. Yeah. Stephanie? Hello, fellow Hello. ramblers. Hi, how are you? I'm doing good. How are y'all doing? Okay. So Is it echoing? It's not for me. I don't. I don't know what the, if they hear it. Could, I don't hear it at all. It sounds fine, but they said when okay. Crafton was on, they thought they heard it. But I don't know. Yeah, I, it sounded like he was really far away. Okay. I think this is okay. Oh, I have so much tea to spill about this because I have been in like every live that uh, Kim has been in lately, and um, I also was in a live that someone named Chrissy was in and Shannon was in on uh, AD's channel. So I've heard so much stuff 
Um, and I know a couple other people have probably heard this because I've seen them in the chats, but like, um, so KK came on and said that that's not even her real name for starters. <laughs> okay. And so I thought that was kind of interesting that that's not even her name. Right. Um, and then I also got to talk like directly to um, Mr. Ruzak. He was in one of the lives and actually called her out on something she said. So I like got to write to him. So that was kind of nice. And she very rudely, like pretty much started attacking him in a reply about wanting proof from the DNA test. Oh, that's the, I read that earlier. I did. I pulled those comments up. <laughs> Yeah, I was like, what in the world? That was rude as I'll get up. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. But right. then tonight, I, I also got to watch one that had someone named Chrissy in it. And I guess Chrissy is um, engaged or something to someone who... Oh, you know, Dil to Dylan, the guy that wrote the book with Chris? Yes, yes, yes. I watched a live with her. And then I think it was yesterday, I watched a live with, um, with someone by the name of Shannon, who I guess was like a family friend mm -hmm. um, yeah. Thanks to, the, to the Watts. Um, which is kind of crazy because I guess they both have kind of been shunned away from the family somewhat, but they both think Shannon is innocent, which is great, <laughs> but they also are both against what is being done on the other channel, like against Shannon and just the audacity <laughs> that she has even saying what she's saying. And they really think that she's just in it for the money and that she's actually, if he even had a chance, which he doesn't have a chance at a 35C and everyone needs to understand. Mm -hmm. um, if you go over and watch um, Righteous Channel, he explains that very well. He does not even have a chance for a 35C. He doesn't have that chance. But even if he did, what she is doing ruined it. Like what she's doing has totally ruined his chance of anything. And what's really sad is he actually had the opportunity to have professional, you know, investigators and professional attorneys and everything like that. And she has somehow conned the family into going with her and going this whole other route. See, but yeah, I heard that too, but it's, it's, you have to take that from where it comes. That it wasn't yeah. that said by friends of his. Yeah, that, that's what I heard. Yeah, that's, that's what I heard like too. So how do we know how true? Story. How do we know how true that is? You know what I'm saying? That's true. Because that's true. yeah, we, we really don't. That's just that's just said by them. I truly believe if they did have all these big time lawyers coming to them, they would take them. Um, so I just find a hard time believing that. I think they're saying that to give Kim clout and credibility. Right, because which lawyer would even do that? They know that he's not. He's right. Not going anywhere. Right. Not and what about the Innocence it. Project? Why wouldn't they, you know, contact them? And so, yeah, I mean, right. they're yeah, just... Yeah, they keep getting to dead ends there. And why, is, why do they think that keeps happening? Why do they think they keep hitting dead ends? It's because no one's going to touch this with the 50-foot pole because it's not going to go anywhere. No, and it's also like she said when somebody asked her, aren't you worried? You bringing all this out, you know, will hurt his chances. And she goes, chances of what? He has five life sentences. You know, exactly. so she's like that. She doesn't care. That's why I think it's all about his character. It's all yeah. about I Cindy really feel wanting. Like she's using him for money. I really feel like she's oh, using she him for her money. end of it when she says when when they said you know and nobody questioned that when somebody said what are you getting out of this and she goes me nothing yeah and then to say yeah, well why is your why. channel monetized what are you getting out of it you're getting something out of it right what are you doing with yeah. that is that for you and then you know somebody asked is the money for Chris and she. No, she said, but she, you know, don't say you're not getting anything out of it when you have a monetized channel. You're definitely getting something out of it. You know, don't yeah, lie about that. She really beat around the bush a lot. She really, really, she knows how to beat around the bush. Almost kind of like how CW does. Like how he can kind of suck you in sometimes and he'll say things and he gets people to kind of listen to what he's saying. Right. She does the exact same thing. She reminds me of how he acts in so many ways of that she just kind of like says whatever they want to hear, even though she might not even herself, she admitted that she doesn't even know. Like they, she got flat out asked, like, what if he drops a bomb? Oh, she and goes, like, well, then, says, I, then that, yep. that'll be it. You know, like, then I'll yep. know, then I'll be, it. yeah, then I, sorry. Because she doesn't, you know, she's just going to do this. And that's what uh, she's with Cindy. And who knows if, you know, she's being, 
if they're having issues yet, but I'm sure Cindy's running that whole narrative and every day on the phone when she said she's on the phone, I believe she's on the phone probably five to seven hours a day, but it's not with Chris. It's probably with Cindy and with Jamie and with yeah. Ronnie have strategizing. Exactly. There ain't strategizing. no way that she's calling in that much. Right. They're not even allowing that much. You know what mm -hmm. that would cost her? You know right? what those phone calls would cost? Someone told me like yes. astronomical mm -hmm. to be on the phone yeah, that insane. much. And she he wouldn't have that much call that. time. He's got like, I think he's got like 15 minutes and then he's getting maybe another 15 minutes and that there's a, not, he doesn't have an indefinite time. And why is exactly. the email is sent at 1.30 in the morning? He's not out yeah, sending so emails weird. at one thirty in the morning and he doesn't have a device okay. inside his cell to do that. Yeah. You know? Um, yeah, I don't think it's coming from him. I think that she just does that to try to get people to listen to what she's saying. But I've heard her play like one really small clip of her talking to him. So I'm not saying that I don't think she's not talked to him at all. Oh, I think she might have talked to him. I just don't believe everything that's coming out of her mouth just as much as I don't believe everything that comes out of CW's mouth. Okay, there's Carol, like the, the truth tomorrow. and then there's his story and then somewhere Probably in between the there's Kay's story in there. <laughs> yeah. Good night, Sandra. Good night. Um, yeah, it's just, uh, I don't know. She's, she's definitely, you know, not, not, not dealing with the facts and she's dealing with her version and that's it, you know, that's it. I don't know what to say. Yeah. She's just, it's ridiculous, but she keeps going on. She reminds me a lot of Chris in the fact that she's totally memorized her thing that she goes on. If you listen to her yes. on one, she will spew the same thing in the exact over same way with the same intonation, the same words, the same language. It doesn't vary. Exactly. And it's like it's memorized. Yes. yes. It's almost like she has, a, I seriously thought like, it's like she has it written out in front of her and she's just reading it off a piece of paper. It's it's so mm -hmm. weird. Yeah. And um, there's no credentials. Like she has no credentials. She doesn't have any credentials, Every right? And she said the reason she, does, credentials. she doesn't say because she won't believe her if she has no credentials. That's why. Yeah. Yeah. Well, um, I hate to break it to her, but I don't think a lot of people believe her <laughs> regardless of what she, <laughs> what she comes out with as credentials at this point. Because right. it just all sounds ludicrous. Absolutely. Kimberly. Double pun. Hi. Hi. Hi, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Okay. What's I've up? Been listening, I've been listening to this whole thing, and I've, I've followed this case for a long time, but my, what I don't understand is how can someone say, if they in fact were swingers, if they in fact it was not Chris's baby, all the garbage that's being spilled, how does that fix what he did? Because I think they're going to try to take it to, that's just the beginning. Then they, just when she said, I don't know if you ever heard her spin the tale that um, Chris apparently, she says he had a ring doorbell. It wasn't even ring. It was Vidin. So, but that he heard Sandra and Nicole Atkinson talking about some really bad things about Shania that morning. And um, Chris said, oh my gosh, if I don't know this, what else don't I know? And I think it's going into this narrative of slander, 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 Shania. Right. So right. it's just a matter of his character. That's what I think is the paramount thing to Cindy is character. Right. It, and here's the thing. I've been a trauma and a psych nurse for over 25 years. And mm -hmm. so I understand the way people think. But my point is, even if all that is true, right. which we know it probably isn't, even if it is, how is this going to excuse the behavior of putting your daughters, killing your daughters and putting them in an oil tank. Well, first off, they say he didn't kill his daughters. Well, yeah, I know. Right. So that's number except one. He, right. Except he's right. only, they don't think he did only that. Said they, he did. They're going with his first confession. Right. They're, they're saying with. he didn't do that. So what they have to excuse, try to excuse is first um, murdering Shanann. And now they're going with the version that he didn't really kill her. That, right. That's why they're, that's normal. why they're going with this swinger stuff, because if she was a swinger and if she was cheating and if she didn't care about this, then why wouldn't she be drinking? And if she was drinking, then she had no gag reflex, they're saying. And then Which is ludicrous. He touched, I know he touches her neck because... and he doesn't even, you know, do what he would. But because she drank, they're putting it on her again. 
gag mm-hmm. reflex didn't work, and she essentially ended up killing herself, which would have killed right. the unborn baby. So maybe Chris could get clean his hands of that. Then you still have the oil tanks to deal with, right? Okay. So, well, I heard that he was walking them up to bed. Oh. <laughs> which is the most ridiculous Oh, yeah, thing. is that what she's saying? I think that Kim said that she said that he felt like he was walking his daughters up the stairs to put them in their own beds like he would at home, So, but instead they were the oil tanks. Oh, okay, that's okay. Yeah. Yeah. Makes so a it- lot of sense, right? I mean, listen, my I have two daughters that are grown, and I've never, you know, I, yeah. I don't know. It, it just doesn't make any sense to me how this narrative is being put out there with these people that they, they think this is reasonable. Oh yeah, I know that's I know it's scary. It really is. And it then really the people is. that agree with it too. A person it's... does not admit to killing their children and said and he what was his what was his statement in that meeting when they went up to see him? He said she said is the same thing going to happen to me? Yeah, daddy is me? the same thing going to happen to me that happened to Cece? Are you kidding me? And, and to come back on that now and say, oh, you know, I felt bad that they flew on a plane to see me. They had plain clothes on. Well, if anybody saw, they had plain clothes on when they were when they first met him. Right, right. But any, yeah. yeah, they did. They absolutely did. She did. She did. Yes. And Coder may have had a polo shirt that might have said CBI. I don't right. know. But um, and, and Baumhaver was always in plain clothes, right? So. It's just, just, it doesn't, and and you know, he's not coerced because they are forced to be there because they said, listen, we might come back after we have lunch. Would you be willing to meet with us? You don't have to. Would you be willing to meet with us? He said, sure, no problem. I ain't got nothing else to do. Right. And he came back. Build the beads for a Powerade, y'all. Yeah. (laughs) Telling him about the macaroni and cheese. or something. Powerade, they brought him back. Yeah, Yeah, Powerade. He spilled the beads for a Powerade. He acted like that was like Christmas morning when he got that Powerade and verbal diarrhea. It it just doesn't make sense to me. It doesn't. Well, I think what you were asking, I had this kind of look too before. It was like, What's the difference? He still killed someone, so he's still going to be in jail. So why is she going about this? I'm telling you that I don't even think that's even it's not even part of this whole thing. I agree with Carolyn. All Chris cares about is what people think of him. That's that's all he's ever cared. That's all he's ever cared about. And I think that's what she's going for is just to make him feel better about himself and her to make some money off of that. So right, because that's it's her narrative. Because he's never getting out of prison. We all know this. He's where he deserves to be, period. End of story. Exactly. I, I just don't get how this is even a conversation at this point. I, I just, I know so many men that are fathers, or they're not even fathers, and you say to them, well, would you drop your daughter in an oil, oil tank? They would all look at you like, what is wrong with you? Like mm-hmm. you're crazy. Right. right. And, it, but, but I think she's going to. a crazy person to behave like exactly and i think that's where she's going like some temporary insanity he didn't like she's already saying he was crazed he didn't know what to do they were coming like nurse he is insane i'm telling you right now he is insane but he he knew what he was doing there's a difference you have to know what you're doing or you don't know what you're doing he He knew what he was doing he was of solemn mind at the time of it absolutely there and that's the catch with even him signing his plea deal like he was of solemn mind. Yes, he was, he was a sound mind. Solemn He's a sociopath, mind. in my opinion. And there, um, yeah, yeah. Just, I mean, let's yes, face it. Is. Jeffrey oh. da- Jeffrey Dahmer was sane, and he was eating people. Okay, so yeah, yeah. this doesn't make any sense to That's me. That we've been trying to put this narrative forward that oh, he you know he freaked out when he saw his wife kill his kids, but then you know. In one way, he's trying to be a savior, right? Mm-hmm. Where he's saying, I lost my mind when I saw my wife on the monitor choking my children. But then in an interview, he's going to say, she said to me, daddy is the same thing that's going to happen to me, happen to Cece. That happened to Cece, Cece happened, happened to, me. to me. right? It makes no sense. And I he mean, says, I don't... I don't know if I was a, right? He says, I don't know if I was a monster. And I told her, yes. Or if I just said nothing, right? Isn't that what he said there? Right, that's exactly yeah. right. Yeah, that's exactly what he said. Well, you're that's a monster. Exactly what he says. You're he couldn't even remember it... what he said in response to her, and then he says that the next thing she said was, "Daddy, don't." 
like you would not get into that kind of detail. And if you listen to his voice and I'm pretty good about listening, he, you could tell that that actually was affecting him even repeating all that stuff like that out of everything he said in that entire confession, that little sector right there. Was the stood only out the most time you saw any me. emotion or you heard any emotion. Exactly. That little sector right there was yes. the most truthful thing I found in that entire yes. confession. I if agree. I was going to believe any part of that, that little sector when he describes what happens with the girl is the most truthful thing I think he said that entire time. Right. I agree. I mean, I, I, I just don't, I, I don't understand how these channels or anybody... The thing is, I feel bad for both families. I mean, his families are behaving Amen. horribly. His family's behaving horribly right now. I mean, mm -hmm. they're not putting himself in a good light. No. But you know, I'm trying to look at. They should have just been quiet. They you know, should have been quiet. Yeah. I've never had a child yeah. that killed somebody, so I can't. I can't. You know, interject my opinion and say how I would behave. But at this point, you know, I don't understand how you're still coming out saying, "Well, the they told me it was Chris." The father was Chris. Mm -hmm. And then to say, well, they didn't say what Chris it was. Yeah, yeah, it's so stupid. That's so petty. That's it so petty. It doesn't make any sense to me. And, I, I, and it concerns me I'm that just people are actually straw. believing this narrative. I, you know, that, that I, seriously, that actually concerns me for people that, are you serious that you think, oh, you know what, maybe we should give them another trial? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I just don't, I, I, I can't fathom that, that this man sat there and said, the I put my daughters in an oil tank. I, ch well, did he even say Shannon, at some point he with. killed him twice? Wasn't yes, that I was just going to bring yeah, that up. Yes, he yes, killed him twice. That was with Cato. With Cato. Yes. Well, he said that he, he had smothered them before she got home. And then so he thought he was that crazy they were twice. past. Yes, he thought that they were past. He lost his mind and snapped. Exactly. This but is all premeditated. Yeah. This is premeditated. And as a psych nurse, that doesn't happen. You, It just doesn't happen. I don't understand how this is like everybody's like, well, not everybody, but there are people that are actually buying into this garbage. Oh, yeah. I no. mean, there, there are always people that will believe something, right? But, you know, it's just... You have to realize that those Facebook groups where she did come out of, um, those anti shenan ones, the ones that were terrible, had thousands and thousands those of people horrifying. in there. That's horrifying. I've heard about those. Yeah. Those are thousands horrible. and thousands horrifying. of people in there slandering not only Shanann, her family. I've even seen ones going towards the kids. That's That was are you kidding oh, me? Oh gosh, that is. I have so many screenshots of that's disgusting. But yeah. they didn't want to wear their pink shirt today, so Chris was like, "Well, mm. you're going in the tank." I, yeah. It, it just, you know, and I hate to put a, you know, laugh about it, but at some point you have to laugh about this because. Well, the Rusaks are laughing at her, Kim. They are laughing at Kim with her, you know, insanity that she alleged, she needs insanity. to be. I mean. Yeah, she should be feeling. hiding She's her a joke. point because this is insanity to me. I mean, I don't understand how th this isn't black and white. And, you know, the other thing that bothers me is people saying things about, well, they didn't follow up on this. They didn't follow up on it. Well, guess what? They didn't need to. He, he said he did it. Mm -hmm. Right. Absolutely. Right. And she wants to say, first she said, he didn't know. He didn't go in front of the judge. He wasn't asked. Then when I showed he was. I saw him in front of a judge. I'm confused. No, you saw him at the sentencing. But they, they also had, when I went over that transcript with the plea deal, mm -hmm. that, that was not shown. But we went over the transcript and the family was there. Both families were there. So she knew this happened, but said it didn't happen. Okay, but we went over the transcript and it did happen. And the judge went over so many times to make sure he understood. Oh, he understood I what that 100%. Exactly. But she says it judge didn't happen. Whatever, she says that signed. didn't happen. And then know. when I pointed it out, she came back with a rebuttal and said, okay, it happened. But still, even if he checked those boxes, even if he said this to the judge, he felt pressure. She's just going to come back. You're going to bring her something that she says didn't happen. You show her in black and white it happened. She makes up another excuse. Now he's pressured. So, now he's so maybe, maybe he was medicated and crazy then too. 
Well, yeah, he would, they asked him about medication. They asked him, you know, all those questions, but she's going to keep saying that, you know, and the judge told him, you can, you know, your counsel will fight for you. You that you know, right. you have it. So he can't have, he didn't have ineffectual counsel. He wasn't pressured into anything. He was told, you know, so many times over and over right. and over his rights. And so, but she's just going to hit that thinking people are not going to look for this stuff. And when you do bring it out right. to her, she then brings something else. Well, okay, maybe, maybe, maybe he said all this. Maybe he said he did yep. it. Maybe he signed that he did it. Maybe, mm-hmm. you know, he told the judge that he did it. But yep. now it's something else. But In he's my trying opinion, to guy at this point saying he's still covering, covering for Shanann. Well, what did you say? You're surprised I, I, she doesn't say it? I haven't heard him say that. I, I think he's covering for someone else. I haven't heard him say that, but I well, he, I, just, well, here's I think the, thing, the people though, that if, follow if him are just uneducated. That plain and simple, the people are who are following her are just simply uneducated. Because if you were educated at all in any of this, um, you would see that it's black and white. So the people following her are just strictly uneducated. Absolutely, I agree. I, I don't. That that's my whole point. Is I don't understand how this is even a thing. It just doesn't They're make uneducated, any sense to me. in denial. They don't want to look at the facts. The facts are not friends to them. Okay, right. For Amen. them, it's like hashtag facts are not friends because right. the facts they put on like these negate rose what they're saying. Glasses and right. Try to see what they want to see, and they'll just believe, believe what face. she's saying because they want so much to believe it. They want right. so much Amen. to believe yep, it. Amen. Yep, that's it. And like I said, you know, I I do, I feel badly for his family. I mean, who would want a son that did what he did and that they would be trying to grasp at any straw looking for any excuse? You just, uh, you know, and, head, and, that's exactly why I think they're, in, especially his mother is in such denial because they right. don't want to face that. And as a mother of boys, I can tell you right now, I could totally understand her, her point on that. I'm not wanting to face that reality. Sure. But the thing is, is she doesn't seem to understand that the more she keeps running her mouth and keeps sinking herself into that quicksand hole, she's making it worse for herself and everyone and, else around her. And I understand it. I think that that's where, like, the sympathy has been lost for that family is because she, the way that she's behaving at this point. I just... Amen. I, she I don't want to stop. Because I think the world would, would kind of support her and be like, oh, my goodness, you know, I'm sorry that this happened. She should have. She should have. She should have kept her mouth quiet and now, not she slandered. Been quiet, um, I think she would have gotten a more positive response from people. Right, and then and then of what she said, especially that interview she did. Like, but she she, she buried herself right there. That interview, she buried herself with that interview. But you know what's even worse, and she's a lot like Chris in this respect. It was bad uh-huh. that Ronnie said the stuff he did right at the interview at the police department. Then it was even worse that she went to those Denver news stations and slandered some more, right? And then- Well, what did Roddy say at the the, uh, police department? He said, his wife always said she was a narcissist and bipolar. So he was trying to make an excuse for why his what why his son may have killed her. Right, yeah. right, right. That's yes. all that's been done is, is excuses. One question I have always had, though. Well, can I just, fin- let me just finish this one thought. So before, yeah. she said, um, so then she takes it to the news station, right? And then the Rusacks issue a statement after she took it to the news station, right? Because it was just terrible. But she didn't stop mm-hmm. there. Then she was behind bringing it to YouTube. And every time it's like a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. And she just doesn't stop. The way he right. does. So I agree. I yeah. agree. And I think I think that she's, you know, I, I don't know why. I mean, it's probably a, a makeup of her profile, but I don't understand at this point. We we all have accepted what your son has done. So accept what he's done. She can still love him. She can still visit him. She can still support him. Mm-hmm. That's what a mother does. Right. But I have been battling with myself whether the fact of you know, whether or not he has come out and said, hey, look, you know, y'all need to stop this. This is this really what happened. And if they're like right. fighting it, you know what I, I mean? I, know, I, I get this feeling like he, he, I think he has said, look, what are you doing? You know, like this, this really did happen. Like you need, y'all need to stop. And she I, just won't put that gun down. You know what I mean? She just right. won't, she can't for her own Unfortunately, what I've seen mental with both, health, I don't think she can. Even with, even when Shanann, you know, they, they, projected this image that maybe wasn't the best 
but I think that the, you know, Watts family at this point is still trying to run it, you know, and I, and I think that that's their, to their detriment. I think that that's what people are just going after them about because they're just like, listen, I don't it's care. Been that way since day one. <laughs> I don't care about, you know, all this other stuff. I don't care all these, you know, accusations of swingers and, you know, it wasn't his baby and Shanann was bossy. I'm bossy. Right. Okay? Yeah, me too. Yeah. I, bossy's worked really well for me in my life. Right. But, you know, that doesn't mean that I deserve is. for someone to put me and my children in a freaking tank. I mean, that doesn't make any sense. Absolutely. And, you know, I mean, it's just, it's, uh, she does keep going further and further into it. And I think the Netflix, it really sent them over yeah. the edge. Netflix yeah, sent them yeah. over oh, yeah. the yeah. edge. Yeah. Yeah. Well, let me ask you this, Carolyn. What do you think about the, the, um, the Nicole, the mistress? I think she was a catalyst, definitely. But Chris yep. is the one that's responsible. Chris is the one that did this. Yes, she is a catalyst. Yes, she probably put demands on him. Yes, 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 all that. Um, you know, you could even look at, you know, that she wanted first things first and Shanann was having a boy. And mm -hmm. there could be just a lot mm -hmm. of lot of things that exactly. caused the catalyst. Jealousy. But did she... I agree with that. I agree. I think, you know, so many people are saying that, you know, they believe she was there. I, I don't yep, know. I, I do. I, don't I know. believe she was there. Sorry, I seen pings that her phone was in that area. I believe she was there well, I that saw night. That I also think she physically fought with Shanann that night. That's what that's my personal opinion. I think that she physically got in an altercation. That's what the moving was in the basement. I think Pooh hit the fan. I think she left that morning while he was loading. It makes me sick to even say that. But when he was wow. loading them into the truck, I think she left during that time. And uh, her, her phone pinged that night in that morning. And I think that's why she asked for pictures of the site, because I don't think the girls were originally part of the whole plan. I think after when when he, they, they lived the first time, he's, they were just like, okay, we're gonna leave them. But Cece, I don't think was all there. He flat out said that she was not acting right. Yeah, and but, I think maybe the first time that he... I mean, we've all gone through that out. too, believe me. I, you know, in, in looking at this case in the beginning, it would look like, yes, you know, like she had to be there, she had to be this, but they they have had an investigation. I mean, and it's not, you know, I mean, like I said, there, there are interviews that have not been released. There were searches of her car. I'm sure there was search, I believe there was a search of her apartment. Um, you know, so there were things that we did not see because he had right. confessed so early on but right that i mean i agree with you carolyn i'm just kind of like you know i think that if because i i heard that like um nikki's dad was like an fbi or whatever oh right? no no he what he yeah. wasn't he so wasn't i, I know he, that that's I a lot of rumor. A bigger name in the oil field like he did something with the, with the oil that's what i he, heard he, yeah, safety instruments <laughs> But yeah, I here, heard he has money. Yeah, you know, here's the here's the other thing. Here's the other thing. Do I think she would have helped after the fact? I do. I do. Yeah, think exactly. her and Jim. I think she, it was she, convenient she, that Jim was in town, and I think Jim was in town because remember when he got into town was the same time yep. that she got home from work. So do exactly. I believe she would? She's probably very lucky because had it gone off they would have both been arrested because I think in my opinion, they would have been there for the cleanup detail. I well, think, so let me I think that's why he took the plea deal so quick. Her, obviously then. What did you say? I'm sorry. I said, so let me ask you this. Do you think Chris is protecting her? Well, technically she, you know, he could protect her. She, they didn't do anything because there was no cleanup detail because they got, caught so early on right Chris got caught so early so I think he just didn't want I don't think he wanted to face her that's what another I don't think he wanted to face his parents I don't think he wanted to face the Rusacks and I don't think he wanted to face her in court and that was one of the big reasons he did not want a trial and you know what? I agree with that I agree with that I think that for him yeah I agree I think for all his ugly dealings to be put on you know on stage because he never knew all this stuff was going to come out. You know what I mean? And it was just right. like, well, let's fix this and let's just shut it down and let me go to jail. Right. Right. Yeah. I don't know. I just, 
You know, I believe that Nikki was, you know, I, I believe what you say. I think that, you know, I agree with you. I think that, you know, she potentially was a catalyst. I don't think she is as innocent as, you know, she proclaims to be. Mm -hmm. Do I think that she was in the house and, you know, helped this? You know, I don't know. I wasn't there. I don't know what happened. I understand the whole um, phone ping thing and everything else, um, which is a little yeah. A little, believe me, I, I mean, we I went through it too. I thought, oh wait, she's got to be involved. You know, there's got to be more here. The ping, yes, and but the ping can can uh, bring Frederick on the highway, and she does have to go that way to work. And oh, yeah. Okay. So I mean, there's other okay. other explanations and. Just, yeah, and you look at it and, you know, the, the police force and the CBI and the FBI was very, you know, comprehensive in their investigation. And, you know, I mean, it's just, yeah, you look at it and I think to me, right. Jim, it, the time, he, the time Jim got there, three o'clock. Like Amber Fry and how much did she make and, right. you know, all this stuff. And I thought. Because, you know, to be honest, the rest of her inter inter internet searches didn't bother me. Preparing for anal sex, I don't care. Who cares? Mm -hmm. Knock yourself out. If that's, if that's your deal, go for it. I don't care. You know, but that one thing really bothered right, me. And I was like, right, well, Utah. why are you Googling that? You know, because I think, she, uh, I think she, even the fact that she was Googling Shanann in 2017, like, yeah, that she, right def there she definitely had an interest. She definitely had a jealousy. She definitely wanted Shanann's life. And, you know, I, I do believe she would have helped him, you know, clear things up somehow afterwards. And I think that's definitely why. Why would Jim come in at three and then leave at like eight or nine o'clock? Like, why? Exactly. You know, that doesn't make sense. So it sounded like he came in maybe to help with something and or or even Some even heavy if he lifting. Did, even if he didn't come to help with something, maybe he had to stay at her apartment to give an alibi, something. You know what I'm saying? Right. So right. Uh, I maybe, agree. you know, true, maybe true. he yeah, wasn't the true. one that's that was great. going. To, but he he was there to me, I think, for a reason. It didn't happen because it was caught so early on. And, you know, that's that. But, um, yeah, I think that's just. So, Carol, let yeah, me was... ask you this. When do you think he, what do you think actually happened with the girls? Do you believe that he... See, I believe he he, um, he, he, he murdered them before. Twice. Now, I, like I'm saying, do I want to believe that because the other events are just so horrific and, like, mm -hmm. why would I want to think that? I would never want to think that. It, that, that I remember sure. being physically sick when I heard that first uh, time when he made that new confession in Wisconsin. I was physically sick. I couldn't believe it. Like, how could he say that? And Same. it was just to think about Bella saying but to be that honest, or seeing that. I believe that. that confession. I believed he was honest then. Did well, he see, said, um, I, I will believe tell about you. a quarter of it. Here's the thing. I believe that he, when, when he said that, you know, the girls were in the truck at the oil field, that, you know, he I will did tell, that. I will tell you that, that Sandra Rusak believes that, too. I so, believe that. You know, that's what I'm saying. So I think a lot of it has to do with me not wanting to believe that the girls went through that because it's so horrific. Um, I know. I mean, that's horrifying. It is. It's horrible. Their mother was at their feet. Right. Yes. But I do. I, I mean, believe that as well, that they were alive. And I believe that he, he thinks he snuffed them out twice. I believe that. And everyone asked why the oil tanks. And in my opinion, why the oil tanks is I think he planned on burying them. The dirt out there is so hard. And then all of a sudden, people started messaging him. They were coming. And I think he just plain old ran out of time, freaked out, didn't know what to do. I don't even think he realized that he even put them in separate tanks at first. I think he was just like, oh, 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 go, 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 go. And <laughs> after the whole thing was said and done, I think he realized just how insanely crazy that was. But I think he simply just ran out of time. Because the dirt out there, I don't know if y'all have ever been to that area. I've been to like every state. The dirt out there is super hard. It's like a clay, and when it's hot and dry, it gets really hard, and you can't dig in it very well. He, he, I mm -hmm. believe he even broke the instrument that he had with him. I think he, some, I heard he had a rake, and then I heard he had a shovel. I thought he had a shovel when I saw in the videos, um, and I heard that was actually broke. Yes, it was. The rake I heard was. it was broke. Yeah, it was. I heard that was broke. It was. I Honestly, I think that, this is just my opinion. 
I think that he thought the girls would never be found if they put, if he put them in there. Well, I think you know, so again, that again, he, knew, he knew that those tanks got checked every week. Again, that was again. brought up plain as day about when they interviewed people from his work. Those tanks got checked every single week. So he knew but, those tanks were checked, checked every week. Check how? They have to check for leaks and make sure that the gas and stuff isn't leaking out. And one of his coworkers they during an interview explained the tank, though, right? They have to test the oil inside of it. The one of his coworkers was explaining that whole process, and he himself said he didn't understand what Chris was thinking because they would have saw that the levels were off inside when it opened up the tank anyway. So I don't know. Really I think understand that. I think by saying that, that almost gives him a reason to say, well, why would I put my girls in there? Because I knew they would be found. The whole reason he was going out to survey in the first place was because there was an issue. Right. And there was an issue. Yeah. And he issue. had told his coworker he was going to go. Right. Yeah. They had been having issues at survey 319 with a leak for quite some time. That's what the other coworker said. And so it wasn't natural for him to go out there, but right. they figured he just right. offered to go out there because he was closer than other people. Okay. Were. But can I say something? So if, um, you know, people say he was going to blow up the tanks, if he was going to do that, there would be bone fragments. Something would be found. Okay. Most right. likely there would right. be something found in an explosion. And that's, that's and, my position um, is yeah. because I think, that Kim said that, you know, oh, he put them in the tank. He knew they would be found. So he really wasn't trying to hide them. I'm like, well, no, well but, but Kim I says, don't know, yeah. I don't know if I believe that. No, what Kim yeah. says is something, you know, uh, you can't go by what Kim says. But oh, I don't go by anything he, he could said. have been um, planning to go and get Shanann out of there. I think he had to dispose of that car. But then, you know, you have the same the same token, right? If Nicole Atkinson hadn't come to the house, but look at this. I mean, he just clearly wasn't thinking. He was not thinking because even I if wonder Nic if he knew about her doctor's appointment that morning. I wonder oh, if he knew. Yeah, if he knew, well, he should have known her. about it. But the thing is, he knew that she talked to her friends every morning, the, the ones she worked with, right? He knew mm -hmm. that. Right. And he knew Nicole Atkinson lived five minutes away. So how could he not see? That's why I think he that, turned her phone off. Well, he shut her phone off, but still, if he was thinking clearly, what would he have done? Right, and that that he would that, have that, taken her phone and right. sent a message, right? Right. Oh, yeah. I'm right. So, so such and such. I'm out of pocket today. I I won't be answering my messages. Yeah. Da 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 da. Right. Why so that they wouldn't be calling. I wonder why he didn't do that. Because he even went so far to call the school to tell the school that the girls weren't coming. So I wonder why he didn't think like that. Now, it really could, it could be. It. Here's what I think about the phone. I think that the reason the phone was fine and shut off is because he tried to get into her phone. And he didn't know the right. code. Right, he didn't know the passcode. Yeah, so that that's true. He could yeah. not get yes. in to set those messages. Yes, right. Oh, that's true. Yes, 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 that's right. Because... Uh, uh, and they had to call someone to actually get the code. No. She, she didn't even know what the no, code no, was. She, they got yeah, oh, she called else. it from Cassie, right? She, I think it was yeah. Cassie or Addie or one of them yeah. that was on the phone and said it's the baby's due date. Right. Uh, because yeah, obviously the look she on his face it. when she said that, that was priceless. The look on his face when she said it's the baby's due date. You can look at right. his face and his whole face changes. Right. Because but, my code on my phone has been the same forever. So he probably thought he knew the code. But Shanann had changed it to the baby's due date. I was just going to say, I think she intentionally changed it when she started smelling some BS. Going right, on but, let, but let's just say if he had really been thinking and couldn't get into the phone, okay, what he could have done is said that, look, you know, she could have text them from his phone and say, you're not going to believe this. I dropped my phone in the toilet. It's kaput. I have to go out, and so, right. you know, I'm going to, you know, whatever, just done something like that, but he didn't even do that. So then that's why he called the school, probably thinking he'll hold the school off from because right. Bella and Cece aren't there, right, and have them yeah. stop calling people or telling people that, hey, they didn't show up or anything, right? Mm -hmm. And um, yeah. But I guess he was just thinking, like, okay, well, maybe they'll just think she's tired. Maybe they just think she – I don't know. He didn't think. I think he ran obviously. out of time because he didn't even go to the work meeting that morning. And they said that that was not common for him to miss that meeting. Well, right, he but he, he – no, he didn't want to go there because of what is in the car, in the truck. 
Right. He right. had to go to the site before oh, anybody got Jesus. there. That that's yeah. horrifying. Yeah, he ha- of, he knew he uh, wasn't the going there. Tracked, I mean, seriously, they? that's that's horrifying. Think about that for a minute. He didn't want to go to a meeting at work because there were bodies in his truck. Right. Seriously. Yeah. That's but horrifying. It is what it is. It, that, of course it is, yeah. Was. The whole thing is horrifying that he would murder his family, you know. N- Luna, you have a question? Been <laughs> waiting patiently? Yeah. Um, <sighs> so, do you think that Chris is okay with what his parents are doing and what Kim is doing and he's a, like actually a part of it? I don't think or he Or do knows. you think... <laughs> I don't no. think he knows. Yeah, that's my that's my opinion is I don't think he actually knows what's happening out here. Um I think and, he's being lied and to. if he does know a little bit, I think he's just too afraid to tell his mommy to stop it and shut the F up. Oh right, cuz you know um, he doesn't want he doesn't want to face his parents and that's the whole thing when they kept saying that Chris didn't want to see them and Chris didn't and they didn't get access to him. That was all of his doing. He didn't want to. He told yeah. his lawyers he didn't yep. want to. He can't yep. face them. That's the whole thing about the trial. He can't face what he did, but, you know, see the people that he knows and, and face up to what he did and have and anybody look at him. that's why I feel him. bad for his family. I think that maybe they're getting, like, just, you know, cross wires with him, that they just, you know, maybe they're he's giving them excuses and they're trying to fight it and... The, no, because what he's he no telling because it's garbage. No, because he's telling them on those calls you can hear he's saying don't say bad things about Shanann. She's a yep, good I woman, right. a oh, good really? mother. Yeah. And that's what he, he asked them to do. He multiple times about bashing her and he said that he didn't want anyone to quote unquote see her in a bad light. Right. Do not do that. She's a good woman. Because the mother started bashing her saying, "Oh, we know how she was and you know and going Oh, off I heard and, about that. I heard right. there's another there's if you another... listen, someone in the background says to her, this is recorded. If you listen really closely, I put that on. I have an audio thing. My son makes music. So I have an audio system in my computer, and I've actually enhanced that. And if you listen in the background, there's actually someone that, when she says that line, they said, it's being recorded. Right, and that's when she says, out. so what's wrong with that? A mother telling her son that she loves him? Yes, yeah, she said that afterwards. You know, so what if it's well, here's the thing. She tried to cover it up. Well, here's the thing. There is nothing wrong with a mother saying she loves them. There just isn't. I, I, and I will stand firm in that. I, you know, I, I've never had a child commit an atrocity. No, there's nothing wrong with a mother. No, but she was trying to get past what she was doing about um, slandering Shanann. Right, and I don't agree with that. I, I think that they're, they're going down the wrong path to kind of bolster their son or, I, you know, I don't change public opinion and... Well, he's not that bad of a guy. He only killed her because she killed both kids. You know, I, uh, not cool. I, I just don't agree with that. And I think any psychiatrist or any person in my in my field will tell you that. Well, you know what? You sh- you should have probably called the police and held her down. I mean, it's just not that hard. <laughs> I honestly don't even think Cindy believes that Shanann did that. I really don't. I think no, I don't think, I don't think, so. I don't, I don't think, I don't think, I think she has to believe it because of, of what her, you know, like she just can't have that. She hated Shanann so much. She hated her so much from the get go. Um, well, you know, and that may be true, but I think that people also have to take a look at how people are talking about them in the media. And I think that they're going to come back and again, this is just me as a psych nurse. I don't know these people. But, you know, I think that, you know, we have to understand that when they're getting this hate. No, because I know the family. Oh, okay. okay? And Cindy didn't just start this kind of behavior um, after the fact. Oh, so it's always been that way. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. No, she, no. She was not I, nice to Shanann ever, starting like, you know, just... Well, Carolyn, let me ask you this. Do you think that she raised a son to be this crazy, psychotic, manipulating liar? Do I know that? I know that her mother, uh, Cindy, worked, um, okay? Her mother is the one that raised Chris and, you know, and then Ronnie and her, I guess, on weekends and after school... Um, do I think she, who would, you know, really deliberately go to raise a child like that? 
No, no, not deliberately. No, but I mean, no. Do you think she's but afraid what of kind made, of was he born that way? Was it innate to in him? Of demons. I, you know what I mean? Facing her own kind of like parental kind of. I think, Negative. you know, like who knows what what she condoned, because if you look at her behavior, she's running to his only friend. He only had one friend, Mark Jameson, one friend. And she, I saw the I heard the interview with him. Right. Yeah, and heard. she runs to him. Giddy, so happy that Chris has seen the light. So she was a meddler in his life from day one. She right. didn't like Shanann. She was furious that he was going to do this against her wishes. She decided she wasn't going to the wedding. He stood up to that. He basically told them, F you. I don't want to talk to you. He didn't talk to them for years. I know. Okay. I know. So, and then even after he did, it was so sporadic. It was not any type of relationship. That's why she said in the jail call, this is all I wanted from you, okay? He didn't want anything to do with her. At the interview, he, his father was coming, and he even said, my mother asked, should I come? And he said, no, don't come. Yeah, yeah, okay? I saw yes. that. that. That's exactly it. what I was going to ask you before when because you wanted to finish what you were saying was why. Why, like, why did he coming. not want his mother to come? I don't know to what come. to tell you I'm coming. Yeah, I saw that. That was weird to me because it wouldn't yeah. matter what anybody's answer was to me. I would have been like, well, I'm flying in. This exactly. is what's happening. That's exactly what I was going to ask before when you said you wanted to finish your topic i was going to ask why do you think he didn't want his mother to come that didn't make sense because he didn't yeah. he, they didn't have a good relationship though she wants you to think she did she didn't care she didn't go to her son's wedding okay it doesn't yeah, matter i mean birthdays. why would she and, and and little cc's birthday because she just I'm going couldn't get past chat. it she was what are you, you go oh do you have any other questions luna it's okay no go ahead Go ahead. You've been no, no, patient. No, I'll You've let been... you guys continue the discussion. It's okay. No, um, go ahead. Ask your question. No, ask your question. Go ahead. It, it's definitely okay. Um, no. Go ahead, Luna. I can always message you, Carolyn. No, no, no. Please ask it. Go yeah, ahead. Yeah, please ask it. Well, I'm no, bossy. I, just I know I am. Wanting Sorry. to continue <laughs> the discussion of... Okay. I'll, I'm going to go back into chat. I'll see you. Yeah. Well. <laughs> You're not going to? You're not going to tell us? Go ahead. I'm, I'm really, like, I've, I don't want to, I don't want to be, um. What? Now you're going to make it. It's all right. No, it's come right. on. You can't do that. That's like saying, I got something to tell you. Never mind. <laughs> I agree. Well, no, I, I mean, I wanted to that. talk yeah. about it, and then I just feel like I keep getting. I, I waited a long time. Oh, yeah. Okay. Let her, let Luna and talk, then... guys. Yeah. Can you let, just let Luna <laughs> talk? For, yeah. Go ahead, Luna. You got the floor. Well, okay. So, like I was saying, if there, I want I want to kind of discuss on the fact that if he knows what's going on why would he allow it since he made the confession and all of that why would he allow all of these people to continue why wouldn't he just come out and say no cut this crap down and leave it alone i confessed to the crime i did it um you know mom shut the hell up right um it's you know like i i think it's disgusting that this mother can sit here and do this to her grandchildren, let alone Shanann, okay? Let's take her out of the picture because we know that she did not like her from get-go, right? Mm -hmm. right? But those are her grandchildren. Right. So why would she continue this? It, it, is she really that full of herself that she has to try to clear his name to clear her name? Yeah, is that her I, MO? I, I think that, I think it's absolutely freaking disgusting. I know. I do think that, Luna. And I also think that she hated Shanann so much. And this is, this is really, like, almost unbelievable. But you can see it, that she didn't like her own grandchildren because they were part of Shanann. And she yep. couldn't get past that yeah. being part of Shanann. And so Chris is not part of Shanann. And Chris is her. Now, like someone said, you know, it's almost like she hates Shanann for letting Chris murder her. You know what I mean? 
So she just has to by everything clear Chris of this. She's so angry and she's got, if she didn't like Shanann before, she absolutely hates her now because in her mind, him meeting her brought this all on. If he hadn't met her, this wouldn't have happened. Like she said in that book, right? Chris was perfect so until kind of, he met her. So what are you going to say, Luna? So is it kind of like, sorry. No, go ahead. I'm done. You can, you can say, uh-oh. Thank you for taking me out. Okay, go ahead. What is it? So is it kind of like the whole um, thing of, you know, like somebody said earlier, you know, she took him away once. Now she's taken him away again. Yeah. So, I mean, I understand that this woman has some major issues, right? Mm -hmm. Some major issues. So, okay, now we know that Chris... I'm not, I don't, and this is not the right terminology, and I, I'm sorry, okay? Mm -hmm. But in my opinion, Don't be sorry, such, just say it the way you need to. He was such a mommy's boy, mm -hmm. right? Right. That he allowed yes. Shanann to kind of more or less wear the pants in the relationship and kind of run things, okay? Mm -hmm. So yeah. he learned that behavior from somewhere. So is Ronnie the same way as Chris was raised that, hey, the woman rules the, the roost and you allow them to do whatever they want and, and you yeah. bend yeah. over backwards and just be I that think dog so. in I, a way. I think so, because if you look at Ronnie, right, yes. Ronnie doesn't say, what are these men? He doesn't say, like, I thought she was a narcissist. I thought she was bipolar. He says, Cindy says. He's always saying Cindy says right. his wife. Right. He's not, he can't right. even have his own thought. Like, exactly. okay, Cindy says this because that's because Cindy was probably messaging him. You tell them that she was this. You tell, because it was right on the forefront in that police interview, right? And then when he goes on to this other interview, he's, he's saying all of Cindy's words. And so, yeah, I think Ronnie is 100% you know, Cindy rules that roost and Ronnie's like that. And Chris followed suit. They say they both have very little emotion. Okay. Um, and you know, look, look, his father tried to escape through, um, substances, right. Tried to escape yep. after Chris left because maybe Chris was the only thing there. And then he was left alone with Cindy mm -hmm. and you know what we, he just couldn't take it. So they said it was because Chris left was because probably there's like no marriage there, no relationship Though she tries to say it's so great. So he disappeared into substances. Chris disappeared, you know, into an affa another affair, but they had to go to some other kind of like euphoria. Yeah. But yeah, no, I think a hundred percent that they're, they're the same. And, and Chris couldn't handle not having direction because at work, that's exactly yes. what they said. Give him the direction, tell him what to do, follow the steps. He does it. And he needed, he needed a Shania. woman that was as strong as his mother. And she got exactly right. what her worst nightmare was. She got a woman that was more stronger willed than she was. And I think she wanted him to be with someone who she could and, and, stand and, above. And his, his and mistress Shanann stood was by a, her side instead right. of standing her butt. Shanann didn't see anyone as better or better. worse. She was right. by people's sides, and I don't think that she liked that. She wanted someone she could stand above. Right, and also, you know, then even, you see in his choice of a mistress, she was somebody that was very dominant. Mm-hmm. Right? Hey, you know? Carolyn, when you're done, let me know so I can... I can talk on that because you're absolutely right. I mean, we see this in the trauma psych world all the time. Okay. So does that answer your did question? Did Cindy you say? know about NK? I think she did. And there's even, there's even a call um, to, to North Carolina. So I think she definitely did um, know about her because, yeah, from things that I've heard and things that I've seen besides the interview where Ronnie doesn't look shocked at all about that and they said they knew they knew about the divorce and separation though ronnie now lies and says the house was on the market the house was not on the market we know that that's a fact um they did call at shanann did you know talk to a realtor prior to that but it was not put on the market yet and um, chris called the realtor that day that 13th but it still was not on the market the realtor was actually sending him to a house to look at it on the way home from work, you know, to see if it was the same type of house as she could get prices, but it wasn't on the market yet. So, 
Yeah. I, I just think besides like the fact of the whole family annihilator thing, like I think that the psychology behind the family dynamic of the Watts is super interesting to me because it's, I don't like any of them. I think they're all a bunch of freaking crazy loons, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And they feed and they're bottom feeders. That's, that's my opinion of them. Um, But looking at it psychologically wise, it's an interesting family dynamic. Mm -hmm. If you really look at it where you have this woman who has so much power over the men she's in a family with, Mm -hmm. it's like, I I don't even know how to like say it. Um, Dominant and submissive. Yeah, but it it goes deeper than that. Here's the thing, that's not, that's not. It's not that bad. You have dominant and submissive people in relationships all the time. I mean, you just do. You can't have two dominants or two submissives in a relationship because two submissives, you're never going to get anything done. Two dominants but it goes in a fight all day long. The problem with what happened, I, in my opinion, in my professional opinion, the problem that happened with the Watts family is Chris was so used to his mom kind of being this directive that he listened to, he he valued her opinion, he followed it. So he married somebody. Shanann was, she's she was amazing. I mean, she was a woman. She did her own thing. She made her own way and she did her stuff. And I think, and I haven't talked to Chris, so I don't know, but I think the problem is, though, is that Chris kind of followed in that suit and maybe he didn't want to be there you know that's not right yeah. or wrong the I problem think is that he didn't want to be there right the problem is, though is though I, when you when you when you follow women that are strong and or they're going to tell you this is what i want this is what i want to do and he did that he did that with mom he did that with shanann he did that with his mistress they were all very dominant personalities because Chris couldn't find his own way. He just couldn't. He had to have someone always telling yeah, him. Yeah, I agree with play, that. Yeah, what were you going to say, Luna? Well, I was, I actually lost my train. You said he but, didn't um, want to be there. You said, I don't think he didn't want, you said, I don't think he I don't think he did not want to be there. I think that he wanted to be free because his mommy well, yeah. was always in his ear right? and it was like okay I need to be free of Shanann because my mommy is my ultimate ruler is my ultimate dominant dominatrix he hooked up you know with two I mean? men, but he, he also hooked up with two women that were very dominant Shanann was very independent yeah, but, but I think, okay, so wait, wait but you know what, there's what, there's something, wait, maybe you forgot. Remember the text messages and um, Shanann uh, took him away from his mother and all of her BS that she put in there? She put, uh-huh. Because his mother, he didn't, he didn't have a good relationship with his mother. Let's put it like that. Okay. Right. He was very unhappy with his mother. Because he, he and, didn't like to be dominated. Right. And she put him through all this stuff and Shanann was sort of, you know, he said, rescued him from this. Um, but Shanann was also very dominant. I mean, she was oh, independent. She was very, yeah, she was very dominant, but he needed that. But then there's... Right. Yeah, but then there's... Right. Okay, but then there's a sexual awakening, and you can look at it with family annihilators and people like that. There are sometimes the, the catalyst, okay, but there's a sexual... Right, because he said another woman has never chased him the way that Nicole did. I saw that. Right, but there's also a sexual awakening, okay? And for him, uh, uh, NK was doing a lot of things that, you know, he didn't do before probably, right? And so that whole side was coming out. And Chris didn't have girlfriends before. Right. Okay? Shanann was his only partner, okay? Right. So, you know, he could be thinking, oh, my gosh, you know, now that he lost that weight, 
and he thought he was looking so good and mm-hmm. somebody was chasing him in the office and sure. you know maybe hey I, I missed out on stuff you don't know what's going through his head right oh wow you know i didn't have right. this whatever oh, I agree. so yeah and then she's saying i want to do all this nasty stuff with you that he's never done and you know he's thinking like wow and so yeah there is that sexual awakening that's a component of that and that is that is something that I've been told by someone that studies family and highlighters, so there is a sexual component to it. But here's the thing, though. Nicole was still very dominant in the relationship, even though she allowed him or wanted to do those sexual things Oh, with she him. was very dominant. No kidding. Yeah, so I she think, was. Yeah, I absolutely think that extra sexual component, you know, with the dominance, mm-hmm. he she fed was. off. She was like she got him to look to look at the apartments and look at this and you got to look at right. that and you got to make a plan and what do you yeah of course she was yeah right how much money do you make how much right money do you right right oh yeah yeah right yeah. absolutely and absolutely. then getting upset when he didn't answer the phone or if he wasn't and that's there the point or you know I'm right right she right. was planning his meals mm-hmm. she what? really was a very dominant his meals she planned his meals. But, you know, here's the thing. There's men that are very submissive to women. They're just, they are. Right, of course. But that doesn't make them a murderer. No, no, not at all. Not at all. You know what I mean? And that's why I find Yeah, but that's, this right, that's the whole thing. Because... He didn't kill her because she was bossy. She didn't, die. no one does I, d- deserves to die because they're assertive or what someone right. might say, bossy. Or they're bossy. Or, yeah, that, that, that's, that's, just, that's just what happened here. Not this, That didn't cause the murder. That's just the dynamic of the relationship. But that yeah. doesn't mean that that's what caused it at all. Okay, that's, you know, someone doesn't deserve to die because they're assertive and she was willing to work on herself and everything. And there's relationships that succeed for 60, 70 years with someone that that's mostly how it is. You like you said, no, right. one's, you don't have two submissives. You don't have two dominants. You usually have a dominant and submissive. And, sure. you know, so there's people all along that'll say my mother was the dominant one and my parents were married 70 years happily. And many couples go on like that. And you know? your dad was very pleased. He's like, let her take the lead. I don't give a crap. Right. So yeah. Like, yeah. Like, big deal. Right. I'd rather be happy and, I, and I'm good like right. this. And it's great. I don't want to worry about all this other stuff right. going on. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, I mean, but yeah. No, just... I agree. I think that, you know, unfortunately... With what I've seen, that people use Shanann's dominance and try to say, well... Yeah, it's it's those wacky people, the ones did. that are no, trying to save a marriage, cool. the same ones that are writing to, um, you know, killers behind bars that, you know, are just doing all kinds of stuff and then pretending they have the perfect marriage, so, yeah. Right, right. I mean, we, we've all seen those perfect marriages, and then years later, we're like, oh, what happened? Right. I mean, I think that's the same for like all these Instagram families and YouTube families that everything's perfect and there's never a problem. Mm-hmm. I mean, you know, I'm 50 years old. If you if you've lived that long or older, you know nothing's ever perfect. It oh, just isn't. Sure, that's crazy to say that. Right. You know, but does that does that quantify in the excuse to say I'm going to annihilate my entire family? Mm-hmm. No. It just doesn't. And th- and that's what concerns me is that people are trying to use, you know, Shanann's independence and her dominance or whatever into, well, he had to. No. No. He didn't that, have no, to. no. That, the, those are the people that they're usually on the other side. And those are the people in those groups. And it's just, it's sick. And some of them are shock jocks trying to do it. And some of them are just sick and twisted, in my opinion. So. Okay, I am getting Thanks off. Thanks for asking that question, oh, okay. Luna. That was great. All right, Luna. Like, yeah. That brought up a great topic. I'm so happy you stayed and asked that question. Thank you, Luna. <laughs> <laughs> that brought a great, that was a great combo. It was. It was good. I like it. I mean, I, I think that we're, we're kind of sharing, like, you know, what these people are putting on their platforms and saying, this is what's important. No, no, it's not, because this happens every day. I mean, there's always a dominant and a, a submissive in a, in a relationship. I don't get how you can well, say, well, because they behave this way, this is what yeah, happened. No, I just think that his mom was more dominant over him. And I think that, he, like, 
Yeah, okay, even in K aside and all of that, I think his mom was more dominant over him and she was constantly in his ear and he couldn't put up with the pressure of her. <laughs> and then all, you know, everything just kept building and building and building. And he's like, okay, so what am I supposed to do? Like, I think that's part of what was going through his brain and his head was he had his mom constantly in his ear and she was his main dominant in his mind because that's how he was raised. That's how he was taught. I, I think that's where, I think that's where the, the constant thing in the back of his head was, was her, but that's my opinion. Um, I am going to get off here because my daughter is still awake and she is oh, having a cow. Okay. I think he's right. just a sicko and a martyr. Luna. Thanks for coming. Yeah, I don't think there's an twisted human behavior. for sure. You know, I think that he he did what he right. wanted to do. Period. Thanks, no Luna. matter what no matter what the circumstances were, he did what he wanted to do. Period. I don't understand how any excuse can be valid for what he did. I just, uh, I'm confused. Somebody help me. Somebody tell me. How... I don't even think he finds his, his own excuses valid. I don't, I don't think there really is any validation to something well, that that's what they're trying tragic to do and horrific. Right. right, and I agree, but I think that that's what they're trying to do right now by saying that, oh, he didn't have a court, he didn't have a court date. Shut up. Shut up. You just admitted to killing your family. Right. They're, 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 I think, the 100%, the main purpose of this, because if it was the 35C that was the main purpose, it would have been filed. Right. I agree. Okay. I mean, it's That's not the main purpose of this. Right. And they wish Doesn't they that have, have done this. by the end of the year or something? Isn't there a time limit on no, that? No, well, he has no, only on one of the things. But um, the one thing is that, you know, she just, it's just the, they have to get his character resurrected. And that's like the number one priority. And Thank they're using the 35C to do that because they Thank said they you. want to do it for two years. They wish they had done it two years and things would have been different because I think they think if they had started as soon as this happened and, and started oh, saying sorry. these things, then the public opinion would have been different and he would have had a trial and, or, you know, and they just think, oh, that, you know, but it was tainted is what they say. Because they can't see that <clears throat> everything lines up that Chris did this. And they just right. think it's a matter of people being tainted. And it's just ridiculous. But Carolyn, here, here's what I understand. Who, who gives a crap if the public was tainted? Right. You're not trying I mean, this seriously. on YouTube. Right. But she thinks... That she's either going to show Chris you have all this well, support. She's an idiot. She's right. an idiot. Well, I mean, you no, know, even his mother, okay, was saying it. You know, you have all this support. I want you to see all of the support you have. And that's like another thing that was going to get them to convince Chris to do what they want him to do. Because they right. thought if they could have a lot of support and show him, look, you're wrong. All these people said they support you, Chris. So... Yes, they well, had that 35C, but they, the main thing was his character. If we could just get people to, to right. see different, see him differently. And I think, and then, sadly, I think, sadly, his mother is doing that because she just wants to. He's going to be in prison no matter what happens. I think that she sadly wants people to look at her, him in a better light. Right. And to, for her, you for know, her I sake. I think that's a mother thing. But I think that, you know, with this Kim person and everybody else kind of funneling to her being like, oh, girl, you're right. You're right. You're right. I, you know, that's sad to me. That's sad to me that, you know, she can say she loves her son all day long. And I believe she does. OK. But yeah. she cannot excuse his behavior. She has to say, I love my son. But not Even what he did, but not what he this. did, but not what he did. But she's not, you right. know, she intends right. to say, I love my son and he didn't do this. Right. And that's the problem. And I think that's, that's the major issue that I think that a lot of people have 
is they're like, girl, I would support you all day long and tell you, I, you know, my heart goes out to you. I can't understand how you would feel as a parent with a child that does this. Mm -hmm. But then when you try to say, well, she was a swinger, she was this, she was this, she was this. Nobody wants to hear that. Right. It doesn't make sense to me because if they were swingers, they were swingers together. Chris was a swinger too. Right, right. But, they're Who getting, cares? but, but, but they would say, you know what they would say, right? He didn't want to do that. She forced him into that. Right. She was into right. dark things. Right. She would throw, you know, it would never be Chris. Just like they say, he didn't know about finances. He didn't know this. He didn't know that. They tried to put the CPS thing on her when the CPS thing was filed because he killed the children. Um, right. You know, and just so many things that they just bring out and try to blame on her. And it, it, it's ridiculous. Well, and I understand that. As far as finances, I used to tell, I, I told my husband several times, if you ever sign your name, you're going to jail because it won't match. Because maybe she didn't Carrie start that phone call. Oh, I have to ask a question in the chat here. Because Carrie is so very, she may have not picked up and made a call from that exact spot. Okay. But they can ping on the towers. Right. Yeah. So, she, you know, I it's. Just, Go ahead. What? You know, I, I, I'm just so confused about, again, you know, based on what I do for a living and based on being just a person that I don't understand how, you know, they can say, well, you know, when he signed the paperwork or when he went to court, it didn't mean anything. Or when he had the interview with these people when they came up in plain clothes, I didn't know what they wanted, but I felt bad. So I thought I had to tell them a sleepy time story. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's what they're, they're basically saying at this point is, well, I felt bad they flew up all this way. So I, I felt like I had to tell them a good story. Who does that? Yeah, I, yeah I, I'm just, I'm sorry. I'm just reading something that one of our members has about something, something totally different. But um, Alyssa, if you're still out there, just let me know what's going on. I sent you the number. Um, everybody prayers for Alyssa. Her uh, husband is in the hospital. Very, very serious um, situation going on. So if you could just pray for Alyssa. Oh, prayers, Alyssa. Send him prayers. That's prayers. Horrible. Okay. Um, all right. Yeah. I, I don't know. I just, it's the main thing, you know, tonight is just to get out that they're, they're trying like this, this disgusting tactic to put it on the Rusacks to go and get her information when Ronnie can freaking call the DA tomorrow. Right. Okay. Right. You don't put that yeah, out and I say, if I don't get yeah. that, then I'm going to go on and say yep. that you guys had a reason. Because first of all, Kim, they didn't request that. That's an investigation. Okay. So that was done. It always is. Yeah. 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 And, is. And, and I mean, these people that are sitting there believing this crap, but then, you know, saying, if I don't get this, that's just another way for her to go and spew BS, right? To say right. that, oh, well, I didn't get the answer back from them. That family, the victim's family, didn't think it was important to go and give me, Kim, on YouTube, the information I asked for in a comment and then in a video then I'm just going to assume that that's because, and I told them on the video right. that I'm sure that they yeah. watched that they had to give that to me, or I'm going to say the baby was not Chris's. And that right. is just the most like, ludicrous I know thing. I, you know, I think at this part, it, at this point, the Watts are probably just trying to hang on to any little thing they can, because, you know, I honestly, I don't know, but I, maybe the Watts don't even know. Maybe he's never been honest with his mom and dad to say, this is what happened. Oh, I think, I think they, they're choosing to believe what they want to believe for their, for their own, to save their own face, really. Okay. I don't think, I think they, they hated Shanann so much. Cindy did, definitely. Uh, and I so think Ronnie was completely. So you don't think Chris completely... ever told them the truth and said, this is what happened? Well, he know because he, he told them he took re, he took the plea deal for a reason. 
He's responsible. Right, so, but, yeah, can but you they... understand how a parent may think, okay, maybe there's a lifeline there. Maybe there's something there. Um, no, not really. No, because they, they, you know, they know that she didn't kill those kids. They know that she didn't kill those kids. I'm not saying she did. I agree I don't with that. Really... They know. They know she didn't do it. Yeah, they There's know. The they know. The I, evidence, you know everything is there. She didn't kill the kids. That's a pipe dream of theirs that they're believing with their head in the sand. Yeah, they want to just Sydney overlook. Sydney knows the, that what... Shanann was just like her and she would never do anything like that. She knows. She knows that hands down. Yeah, she's not. She is just her own. She can't get past her own hatred. I absolutely cannot get past it. And um, that's sad. Well, that's we, just so sad to me that I really don't think anyone would have been good enough. I don't think it was just Shanae. I believe I don't that. Think it didn't I, matter I, who. Right. Why, why did he never that, have a girlfriend? Like he never I had a girlfriend. That. How come he didn't have any more friends? Why didn't he have any more friends? How come he only had one? Why friend? didn't he have any more girlfriends? Like that just kind of shows it right yeah. there. When yeah. They're saying that that Shanae was really like the first one. Right. I mean. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's tough. I mean, it, I it's tough for everybody. I think it. You know. I've been involved in court cases a long time, and I think that it's it's really tough. But I think that they're doing a big disservice for themselves right now. I think that, you know, by trying to villainize the victim. Yeah, but the the Watts are behind this. Please know that Cindy is behind this. Don't think this is Kim going off on her own. They are one hundred percent behind right. this. But so, let me ask you yeah. this. Why do you think they're behind this? Do you think they're behind this to be, they're just hateful? I think, yes, yes. It's, yes, I do. Really? A hundred percent. Yes. 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 And and they want to protect their son spikes. from. I know wow. a lot of things that's happened with them behind, beyond this, from the get-go. That's what I'm telling right. you. And, and I agree. I, I mean, I, you know better than I do, but I'm just saying that that makes, you know, to a professional, that's strange to me that people would do that. Jealousy, hatred. She didn't like her from the get go. She did, you know, look at the engagement party, look at the first barbecue with I them. I saw all that. Yeah. I, I saw all that. Okay. Yeah. No, I agree. I saw right. that. And if you watch the interview, watch what Cindy says when she says, I, ca I can't believe I have to wake up every day and every day is going to be like this. And I think that's why she's doing what she's doing now, because she still can't believe every day when she wakes up that this is the reality of what's going on. And, and she's she, just fighting it. Yeah. And right. she's but not putting any this. of the responsibility on her son because she's putting all of it on Shanann. If he hadn't met her, it would not have happened. And that is just focusing her hate for what happened and their lives being ruined and everything like that on one person where it shouldn't be. Her son gets nothing and Shanann is everything. Because if he only hadn't met her, she could still be living the same life. So exactly. where does that hate come from? Do you that. think it comes from her being like, Totally her, for, she couldn't believe she did could what not. She said. No, because she couldn't believe her son wouldn't listen and her son went with this woman and her son chose this woman over her and his son, her son got married even so though she dug her. her heels in yeah yeah she couldn't believe it yes wow a hundred percent i agree with that a hundred percent that's exactly what i think i think the exact same thing a hundred percent okay so let me ask you this the, question the mental you... the mental because you you you're into this kim i think that you're you're, you're going to wrap your head around this and be like, oh, my gosh, because really it is very mentally, it's like constant mind games, really. And Cindy is the queen of that. Oh, I know. Like, I know my games in my field, but I'm asking, so do you think that his behavior is wrapped around his mother? He tried to escape his mother. Yeah, he did. His mother, he didn't like yeah. his mother. He didn't. You know, he didn't have so, a relationship with her. He so wanted to get far away to from too. her. So let me ask you this. Do you think that he killed his wife and his children based on his relationship around his mother? 
No, I think the catalyst for him doing that was his new relationship. Okay. Um, right. But but his new relationship was very much like Shanann, except maybe like sex. Right, but with his sexual awakening. But it wasn't that he didn't. Okay. His yes, his mother plays into this. Okay, because of mm-hmm. her domineering, controlling. You know, you don't do this. Sure. I'm not going to love you anymore. Uh, you don't do this. I'm not going to your wedding. You don't do this. I'm not. I don't care. I'm I not going to call you. Yes, All of I that. Agree. Yes, that's got to, that got to factor in. You can't just say, "Well, that he just erased it all." Okay. No. That's no, definitely caused like some real resentment, and and all of that. Yes. That so that played a factor into it. Do I think if he didn't have that catalyst at that time, that would have happened at that time? No, I don't think so. But he had the catalyst, and then he had his mother in North Carolina, and his family, and his sister, and his father in his ear, yada, yada, yada. She's no good. Mm-hmm. She's no good. Mm-hmm. you got to get rid of her. She's no good. She's no good. We hate her. She did this. She called your mother this. And Cindy was so pissed, okay? She made up all these lies and pissed that he first came at her and said it wasn't right what you did. And mm-hmm. how could he do this to her? How could right. he choose her? They went to Myrtle Beach and he stayed with Shanann. He didn't pick up and go. And then he was allowed the one day and the mother was pissed. Okay. And mm-hmm. so they harped and harped and harped. And because he had now this other person over there, right? It mm-hmm. wasn't that he had someone else and they pushed and pushed and pushed. Go with the someone else. Who else would be happy about their son abandoning his wife when she's 15 weeks pregnant with two little girls? Most parents that care would have said, look, you're in this, at least go to counseling, try to get fix this up. They wouldn't push. They wouldn't call the best friend and say, I'm so happy he saw the light. What light did he see? The light that Cindy's been trying to put in there every chance she got. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's what it was. It was intense jealousy. So yes, they factor into it because they were almost supporting him in, in, okay, in let, doing that. Let me let me ask you this question. Do you think that Cindy was trying to kill her when there was peanut ice cream? I or- think Cindy didn't believe anything and she would test that theory without any oh, care of what if she was wrong. Exactly. Because okay. Shanann said it and she didn't see no doctor's papers, she thought it was all hogwash. And she was like, oh, she thinks she's allergic. Watch this. I'm going to prove well, that Shanann's lying. To be honest, I'm not, gonna show, I'm not going to show my in-laws doctor's papers. I don't need to. I'm just going to tell them don't right. give them peanuts. I mean, I, exactly. I've never felt the need to like show paperwork for that stuff. But so that's what, what she required because of the hatred, I think, surrounding. Right. She didn't believe the, any of the stuff, the any of the she things. They were all made up. Right. She didn't have any of it. She said, so I don't think she was trying to hurt her grandchildren. I really don't. I think she sincerely did not believe she was allergic to peanuts. And she was like, okay, we're going to test this theory and let's see what happens. Mm-hmm. Okay. That makes more sense to me because for someone to say that I'm just going to give my grandchild peanuts. That no, makes no she, she just sense. didn't uh, believe anything Shanann told her, and she was going to prove it. And at what at what cost? At what, oh, I'm sorry, uh, you were right, I guess. Oh. You know? Yeah, yeah and I think scary. that drove an even bigger wedge in between yeah. her yeah. and Chris because he was like, what in the that's world? Scary. And that's when, that's when he really cut them off and was like, there was no communication after that. Well, then, but then he went back. Well, no, that he, happened right yeah. before they were killed, though, yeah. right? Then he, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. Then he went back, yeah. and he went yep. back that day, and that's when a lot of things changed that day, okay? Right. That's when... And is that when he went and told them, like, that he was going to get the divorce? Well, that's what, that's yeah, that's what, they, that's what he says. That's what Ronnie okay, says. Okay, that's what I... Yeah. Yep, that's what I heard. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he told them at that time that, you know, he had... And Did remember, he even, he even, he even wanted to spend the time? night. He even wanted to spend that oh. night there. And uh, Shanann said, no, we're leaving tomorrow. I need you to help with the packing and all of this stuff. 
it, you know, you weren't supposed to spend the night there. And Ronnie got on the phone or something and at first said he wasn't going to drive Chris because Cindy probably was saying, tell him, her you're not going to drive him. And then oh, she said, really? well, my father will get, yep. you know, they said my father. Will, and then and they said, forget it. Ronnie will drive me the drove him halfway or the whole way. And um, yeah, then, then Chris came home. But they wanted Chris there that night. Mm-hmm. Say, you know, so welcome, Melanie English. No, I understand more by. because, you know, it. even though I believe that he's guilty, I don't believe Shanann's guilty in anything. I don't. No, of course. But I do believe... But I did know, like, based on, it, it, it was weird to me to hear that, well, she tried to kill my kids. I'm like, but first of all, well, that's, that's would do Cindy. That, that makes but, no sense to but me. But that's Cindy's version. And if you look at Cindy's version, Cindy changes the kind of nuts that Cece was allergic to. She says then she was allergic to chocolate. Cece was not allergic to chocolate. You can see well, wasn't Cece. Wasn't she allergic to all tree nuts? It didn't to, matter what like what nut it was. No, she, she was, was allergic. allergic. She, she could have peanut butter. I'm, she could I'm have peanuts. She wasn't right. allergic to peanut butter. She was allergic to tree nuts. So there's cashews, pistachios, like that. And, right. Um, right. And then Cindy says a lot of lies. Cindy says that... Nobody else was targeted, like, you know, got yelled at if they made a mistake. And that's not true. Frankie mm. had a bag of pistachios in his room and, and Shanann let him have it. Okay, so she's lying there. Um, she would go nuts on anyone that put her child at risk. But Cindy... Which I would too. Right. I mean, seriously, I would too. I mean, yes. Yeah. And, and Cindy's saying, like, the, there were these posts all over... Um, you know, Penelope says Sin is watching all over Facebook, and that's they were in an allergy group, okay? And yet they've exploded Who that was? to be like all these posts all over Facebook saying all of these things, effing mother in law, this and that, and they've just blown that up. Then that, you know, it, you have to understand she lies. She says that she was allergic to chocolate. She tells a story about Hershey's kisses. Then now Kim has the story wrong because they can't remember anything because they lie and has Chris at the house when the Hershey's kiss thing happened. Here's and, the thing. I don't believe how anybody can believe anything Kim says. It well, just doesn't Cindy make sense. also, this is coming from Cindy also I'm talking about. Cindy has it all wrong. She's told the story in multiple different ways. And when you look at the other side of it, Shanann's side and Sandy's side and Frank's side, it's totally not what they're saying at all okay and um mm -hmm. you know what uh cindy doesn't have her facts straight why is she saying it's chocolate one minute it's nuts the next minute it's right. peanuts another right. time okay right. she just did she just didn't even listen and then she's saying she had to buy this expensive chocolate because of this and the hershey's kisses and feeling that that she wasn't allergic to hershey's kisses so everything must be a lie but she was mm -hmm. never said she was allergic to chocolate. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think yeah. Cindy kind of used that to kind of cover up the fact of just how malicious it sounded for her to intentionally put out tree nuts, you know, to test that whole theory. I think she started bringing in all that other stuff to try to so she make that sound not as bad. But my question is, she intentionally put out tree nuts to see... Yeah. Well, they said, yeah, really? there, was also, there was also a uh, bowl of nuts bowl that Jamie out. put out. And then she wow. said, what is this? And she says, oh, well, we always put that out there. Jamie put it out there because we always have nuts like that on the table. Oh, I thought it was ice cream. It, I thought the both thing things, two things, ice cream. ice cream and the nuts. Yeah, she bought like pistachio ice cream or something. Yeah, yeah I she, heard about the ice cream, but I didn't know about like nuts being out on the table yeah there were nuts out on the table there were, the razor theory there were, that she was yeah, there were razor not. blades around though they say there was not there were razor blades around yes see i heard that i thought that was like just like you know um pottery no, no that's know. true i've heard it from the source there were razor blades around there was nuts on the table there was the ice cream okay. yeah Wait a minute. Where were the razor blades? They were just like hanging out on the yeah, couch. Yeah, that's the first time I've heard the razor blade thing. No, no, I've heard go, that. no go look at the text messages. I, I, I will. I, I'm going to double check. I, I always like to note all yes, that stuff. I totally believe you. You've San, never said San, anything San, that was Sandra totally has confirmed you. that, yes, yes, it is true. There were razor blades. Shazam was very upset. There were razor so blades where were out. They? So I her believe... grandparents put razor their grandparents put razor blades. I don't think they put them intentionally. 
I think they were left well, around. Well, they had to have. Who, who, I don't have razor blades hanging out in my house. Well, maybe, maybe if you, I don't know, if you had a <laughs> substance problem, you might have them. Oh. 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 Can of worms just open. Oh. oh. Ooh, that was some tea spilled right there. Because I don't have razor blades just hanging out in my house. I, I don't even think I have, like, individual razor blades in my home, period. They're right. all in razors. I, that's weird right. to me. There, yeah, there, there, were, there were blades out, you know, and I, that is confirmed from, from Sandra. There are razor blades out now. And, you know, do I know that that's the reason they were out there? There, there was, Chris said, there was substance problems, okay? Okay. Um, well, I heard about the cocaine thing earlier. I heard mm-hmm. that. I heard so, that. So, you know, Ronnie could they have been, could he, you know, he may have uh, cleaned his act up and, and left them somewhere. Maybe they were found in a drawer in, a, in an end table. I don't know where they were found. I'd have to ask her, but they were there. Well, so. I would like to know the answer to that because if there were razor blades, like just hanging out on end tables and right somewhere low. Tops, there's mm-hmm. a problem. That's a, that's a serious problem. I mean, right, because they knew them babies were coming. Yeah, I mean, you know, I just had my first grandchild nine months ago. She's amazing. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm very happy about That's... it. But she would never come into my home and find razor blades anywhere. It just, it just and before it just she comes to your home, you probably prepare it, correct? Well, no, I don't even have to prepare it because there's not razor blades found in my house. You know, I, oh, honey, when she start walking around, you will you will have to prepare your home. I mean, go look oh, at go look at I, 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 text. I've raised, I've raised two daughters, so. But my point is, I don't have those kind of like. This was at the Watts house, Tammy. I don't, and, and, I don't have those dangerous things just laying around. Excuse me again, don't, Tammy. No, um, I, I don't, that's I don't a either. statement you know, that's not that's a fact, to Tammy. Me. That's odd to me that that was even a factor there. That's very odd. No, razor blades, Bubba, not disposable razors. So. So do you guys think that he gave her, um, do you think CW gave uh, Shanann oxys when he was in North Carolina like he said he did? She was sick as a dog, wasn't she? And uh, Yeah, I think that's why she set up the appointment. That she set up what appointment? The, no, they, they had... The doctor's appointment for Monday. I think that's why she set that doctor's appointment up because she felt so oh, no, sick they... that weekend from him doing that. Well, no, she... That was North Carolina. It was the weekend before. Right. Yeah. So is that why she set the appointment up? Because she felt so sick? No. I think she she had that appointment, but it was uh, she was so so sick that night, and he didn't care. He just sat there sleeping, and Frankie I Jr. Heard. was up with her. He worked out. I, I remember yeah. seeing that in the text messages. Yeah, I did see that because she said that you know she's so sick and she just wanted to be held or or what have you, and he was just busy. He was just like, yeah, you know, yeah. I saw that. Yeah, he was it's very gross. distant. It's gross. I mean, mm-hmm. it's just disgusting, and. It, Again, I don't understand how people can say that because, you know, that they were swingers, that maybe Chris wasn't the Chris that was the father of the baby and all, all this garbage. True or not? I don't care. You don't kill your wife and your two daughters and put them in fucking, sorry, and put them in oil tanks. It doesn't happen. Right. Any theories on where you think he got the oxys from? He never said where he got the oxys from. Am I right, Terry? But I'm asking if you have any theories of where you think he might have got them from. Did he ever say where he got the oxys from? Um, Did he ever say? No. No. He said he would take some things to his grave. Um, Mm. And uh, Right, that was the oxy. Right. Yeah. I mean, they're, they're... Right, so I'm asking, where do y'all think he got them from? Well, he was in North Carolina, and I don't know if he'd gotten them from, you know. Um, well, I mean, there's, you know, I, I, I'm not going to well, say anything. Well, here's the thing. He could have traveled with them, or he could have got them in North right. Carolina, either way. Right, and he would have been a lot of 
problems if he was traveling with loose pills that weren't in a bottle that was prescribed to him. Right, right. Yeah. But, and again, as a nurse and a trauma therapist, I understand that that probably isn't going to happen. So where did he get them from? And why did he think that an oxy was going to cause a miscarriage? One oxy is not going to cause a miscarriage. It just isn't. So that's where I'm confused about where this whole narrative come, comes from. I just I think that idea was put in his head, and I think he gave it more than one, to be honest. With you. Yeah, I really do. It, was a, it was a pretty high dose from what I remember. Oh, really? Ugh. She was sick as a dog, yeah. yeah if Wait, I, I had to take a guess, I, would, I think he got them from A&K. That's just my opinion. Here's the thing. She was so involved in like, you know, living life like playing and, you know, yoga. Cause I, I practice yoga and all that other stuff. I, would she have those available to him? I, I don't know about her. I don't know. I mean, I don't know about that. So I'm not gonna, could be, could be coming right. from a few people. We don't know. That's the whole thing. We don't know. She could have had those available to her. She could not have. That's what makes her still suspect in the whole thing. Because we don't know. You know, I just don't understand, like, how people can... Again, I'm confused. I don't understand how, like being swingers or any of this other stuff makes someone guilty. I just don't. That's crazy to me that, you know, if they were swingers, they were both swingers, both her and Chris. So that made him kill her? That made him kill his kid? No, no, no. But they're just, try like, again, they're just trying to disparage her. That's the only reason that stuff is being brought into it. They just want to disparage her. Yeah, I think her. it's a distraction. Mm -hmm. It is. It is. Because the point is, if she was doing that, so was he. So, okay, that was their lifestyle. Who cares? I don't, I don't care. Well, they're just trying to disparage her. That's the only reason they're bringing it up. It's out of, it's out of jealousy. It's out of hatred. That's what it is. That's what it's about. That's just, that's just the way they are. That's what they're doing. So, Carol, <clears throat> I'm sorry. I have a cold. So what do you think is going to happen now? Like, where do you think this is going to go from here at this point? It's not going to go anywhere. Question. He's not, like he's that. going to be in jail for the rest of her prison for the rest of his life. Um, I agree. I hope he is. Well, he is <laughs> 100%. He is, um, you know, and then that's it. And if he even got a 35 C in front of a judge, he's not going to be, it's going to be thrown out. He's not going to be given an appeal or anything else. Um, How can he be given appeal when we have the interview with him stating very clearly what happened? I can understand prior to that interview. They're like, well, he didn't know. I get that. Right. But he actually in his own words, Told them what he did. So how can a third, how can that even be realistic? Makes no sense to me. You know, that's like me saying, well, I buried my husband in the backyard because he screwed up my Christmas tree. Psych, mm -hmm. I lied. I, it, it makes no sense to me. It just doesn't make any sense. Okay. Yeah. No, I mean, it's a lot of it is a lot like if someone else is just writing to me to tell me about, you know, another channel and another whole spin using some other characters, you know, totally going against. It's like even the people that are dishonest <laughs> are going at each other, right? For their own truth of the dishonesty, you know, which, which one is the better, better pack of lies to believe. Don't believe oh, those lies. Believe our lies. You know, <laughs> our, blind, lies. The blind. our lies are better than your lies. And it's, it's ridiculous. I mean, you've got right. people that it are is. lying 
like like crazy and then we've seen the all of those nk channels that came out people that said they saw it in a gas station in georgia people that said she had a baby a lady that has a whole channel around that and people freaking believe it okay wasn't there wasn't there a channel that was like cousins or something yeah but it was fake that was so fake it was fake she had a she had a baby and she was on drugs Fake. fake All fake. All fake. I was like, no, I agree. I was like, how can anybody believe this? This makes no sense. I, I, that's my, my whole thing is I'm just like, are you serious? You people want to believe this stuff. I, I, it makes no sense to me that you, you want to believe that. They want to believe that because those like, they, they like that kind of stuff. That's like the tabloid stuff, you know? Um, it's better oh, than remember. the truth. It's, it's more, you know, like it's, it kind of brings the story for those that you can't even like, they're obsessed with the case. It, it's like a new season. Okay. For right. them kind of, you want to look at it like that. <laughs> right. It's a new season. Well, oh my gosh, here's the, here's the, you know, spin on it. Then there's, right. you know, this one's fat. They, they look at it like a soap opera and they want it to go on and on. So sometimes they just want to believe that because then it extends this for them and they can become very engrossed in it. And, you know, that's, that's human nature. You know, people are with cases Carol, like I, this. Carol, just like, I don't know how old you are. Do you remember like the National Enquirer? Oh, of course. They had like, you know, this alien baby that was in like this. This is what it sounds like to me. It's just like, really? Are you kidding me? Mm-hmm. This yeah. makes I can no totally sense. relate to that. People, yeah. I mean, do you, you know? guys remember that stuff? Where sure, sure. And it's like, still on there today if yeah, you go in the go supermarket. Yeah, yeah. Alien. You go to check out at the grocery yeah. store and you see the oh newspaper coming. The craziest yeah. thing ever. There was like right. this alien baby. That was yeah, born. Jennifer Aniston is having a baby every other week, even though yes. she's, what, 55 now or something. She's still having babies. Baby in her stomach yeah, she's looking at the bump. Yeah, like, always. You know, every time who's ever, um, you know, the... Uh, wives of the princes they're always pregnant they could just give birth oh she's pregnant again there's a baby bump there's a baby bump right it's it that's the way it is people just want to i mean i yeah. have to laugh but i, I know like, me I too mean, but this makes it, it no fucking so crazy. sense to me it just doesn't i'm just like are, are you people serious i mean do you not live life every day this doesn't happen this is insane to right me. and then you've got then it's you've got creators that don't know anything about true crime right. saying i want to look at all sides of it what all sides you want to look at a pack of lies you don't even well, know the case the line leading the blind yeah the you blind don't even know the case the i do want to look at all sides i do you can look but... at all sides but you're going to look at a pack of lies like when you hear this woman and you know it's a pack right. of lies you got to continue to look right. at a pack of lies it, not right. you know and the point is when i look at all sides i'm like um this this doesn't make any sense but he's Just already had taken a plea deal okay see it's not like the case has just started if you study the discovery, if you study this, you know right away when she comes with these lies that, wait, this is not, where's your evidence? You know, you said right. you were bringing new evidence. There's no, 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 no new evidence at all. Don't tell me your stupid reenactment. Okay. Oh, you know? I saw that video. I, uh, honest to God, oh. that was the first introduction I had oh, to her. That was horrible. I, I saw that video and I was like, what is happening right now? Right, and Seriously. then the other like thing, why, why? That's what I was just like. Why? The other thing is, um, you know, after that, then you have, she's bringing that out. She says, then the the biggest thing going into the thirty five C is Tammy. That's ridiculous. What Agreed. she's saying about Tammy. It's it. That's right. neither it's here Tammy nor too. there. That's ridiculous. here nor there. It, it doesn't matter. And then you have these people that say, well, oh, well, it doesn't matter that 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 I said, I said dishonesty is okay right. well no they can use they can be dishonest yes if you want to call it dishonesty yeah they can be dishonest to the people they're interrogating in order to get them to get to the truth they can use mm-hmm. a lot of tactics okay sure. they're taught that but they someone said and mommy ramblings thinks dishonesty is okay didn't say the way i said it that that's perfectly legal under the law 
okay? Exactly. To elicit that a confession. That is what they're supposed to do. Right. It's one of the tactics. So they, they put it on me and, and just twist it around just to twist it around. But that doesn't get you a new day in court, okay? Because he wasn't, on, like, yes, there are some times that will. Like that, um, that, that kid they did it to and to make a murderer. That was terrible what they did to that kid. He had a low oh, IQ. No. They really played that kid. That was yeah. wrong. That was yeah. wrong. They, that, he was coerced. He was mm -hmm. coerced. That's somebody that was Are you coerced. talking about the Avery case? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Brandon Dassey. Well, me and you are going to have to have a talk about that at some point. Um, I was very involved in that case. I knew Teresa uh -huh. personally. Oh, did you? Yes, my sister-in-law worked with her. And that night that she disappeared, she was actually supposed to meet me, my sister-in-law, and oh her partner. Oh, my God. Yes, oh I was God. totally, I was out there looking for her when they found her car. Oh, wow. I was there. I actually worked in Mishicot at Fox Hills Resort, where Stephen Avery constantly went to. I, I ran into him many times in town, many times. That poor kid, that just... Uh, that kid that. got completely railroaded. Yeah. He doesn't even have an IQ enough to understand everything they were saying. Right. Yeah. And then and then that the guy what the guy said railroaded. to him, the guy said, Just you want this to end, right? Just do just sign over here. He didn't even know what the yep. heck he was doing. Right. I can't even believe right. that Our kid, kid. is that, that is horrible. Kid. I feel horrible for him. And you know, I wanted justice for her so bad and I still don't feel like she got it. I'm gonna cry. I'm sorry. I have a hard yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, I, I can't that, even that, watch that I couldn't the take Netflix that. document. I oh, can't I even know. watch the documentary. I can't get past episode four. I've tried numerous times, but yeah. it just it strings up so it. much of me, it's very, very hard for me to to mm -hmm. to, to watch that because I knew her. <laughs> but here's the thing, I, I think I think unfortunately that people take documentaries like that. Mm-hmm. What happened? Right. You got to take documentaries. It's just more info. Just like when we're watching all this stuff and we're hearing all these people say everything, you have to get the facts yourself and, and weed out the baloney that everyone else throws in. And that's why so many people, I think, are following all these people spewing on all these lies is because they are not taking that time. Because let me tell you, it's time and work to figure all that out. And they're not taking the time and putting in the effort to figure it them out themselves. Yeah, I don't know what happened. In, okay, what how did they get? You guys are both muted. Okay, I don't know how that's happening. Um, decap, let's see what the chat says now. Kate and Shay says that's how Shanann's family feels with with Kim with what she's doing. I hope Chris knows what they are up to because he knows that they heard any and everything. Now, if he can't lie and cheat to get a thirty-five C, okay. What happened? You're muted. Now it's got so quiet. Um, two Scooter, sorry to hear you're in pain. Why is Two Scooter in pain? What happened to Scooter? I don't know. <laughs> I'm not watching the chat. What? I can't either because it echoes. What happened to Scooter? I missed that. We, I was. We, we need to find out what happened to Scooter. Lisa D, what happened to Scooter? She wasn't pregnant. Loving Coco. Those are all lies. Um, NK. Those are all NK lies. Who wasn't pregnant? NK. Oh, I don't believe that. Her either. neck. What happened to her neck? Her neck hurts. My neck hurts. Oh, wow. Really? Her neck hurts? Did she do something to it? What did she do? I don't know. What what happened to her neck? Because I, I was, saw her, I saw her on a video. If we had a video chat, um, I don't know, was it 8 o'clock? What happened Who's to her neck? Hurts? Scooters. What happened to her neck? Oh, oh. You know, it never occurred to me that NK only felt sorry about the girls. No feelings about Shanann. Yeah, I didn't see. The only missing link is who else is involved with Chris? Please. Hey, whisper too much diamond painting? Probably. Oh, that's probably it. 
Hold on. What is diamond painting? I need to know about this. It's just, a, you know, like it's kind of like paint by numbers, but instead of uh, paint, you're putting these little, um, they kind of like, little, you know, little tiny little jewels on where the different so it colors. So it makes it kind of sparkle? Yeah, yeah. And then it, it oh. fills in the uh, picture. There's like an adhesive on it. So when you stick the little jewel thingy down, it's called a drill. It stays there and then it creates this picture. Oh, okay. Yeah. Is they're that... awesome and really fun to do. Really? I've never done any of that. Yeah, they're super fun. They're really addictive. Like, if you get into, like, puzzles and stuff like that, oh, yeah. I love puzzles. Like that. Oh, like you'd love diamond painting, then, girl. Puzzle you'd love it. You would love diamond painting, then, baby. you got to try some diamond painting. That is super fun. And the end the result is so beautiful. They're so pretty. Okay. Carolyn, do you have those on your channel? Yeah, I have diamond paintings on. Yeah. Okay. Well, I have to see that, then. Okay, but it's 322. Because the first thing I seen was Jimmy. He was um, going to make your Christmas thing on your um, coffee oh, table. Oh, yeah, yeah, right. He was going to do that. <laughs> Funniest thing I've ever seen. I was like, <laughs> this is the cutest thing ever. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, but... Um... It's almost time for me to go. I've been on here like a long time and we covered a yeah, lot of hit. ground and I've got to finish. I was like doing my tree and then all of this hit and I spoke to the Rusex and I was like trying to get everybody because it's, it's so unfair what it is. This it is, is that the Watts family doesn't deserve the hate that they're getting. I think that they're creating well, it. Well, I think that they, they yes, need to they do definitely better. created it. And I think yeah. it is deserved because they created it. If they had been quiet, yeah. if they hadn't I know, attacked, I know. they're getting I what they asked for. You're right. Yeah, I they did deserve that, it. Yeah. It's it's a direct, it's a direct effect of their own behavior. Yeah. No, I get that. I do. I, and that's what bothers me. I think that you know they should kind of like lag behind and and see what's happening. They need to talk to their child and say, listen. But he told they're not listening. He said. Stop right. doing them. that to Shanann. Stop it. And they won't. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I think Thank you all so much. This has been a great live. I'm excited to get to come on and actually talk true crime <laughs> this time. This is very it's awesome. Good. I, no, I agree. Y'all have so many great topics. We can all be reasonable and not be assholes. I mean, I think that's good. Amen. I, mm -hmm. You know, because you, you talk to so many people that they have this, like, view of stuff and you're just like well maybe this and they're like no that can never happen i'm like well it probably it may it may have happened right I appreciate right. you guys for that you know yeah. i think that it's good mm -hmm. but i'm gonna go get yeah. some rest because i have to get up to yeah, early tomorrow you, and and take care of a lot of stuff hashtag that shenan is innocent shenan of course is innocent shine like shenan and oh i believe yeah. she's innocent 100 like percent. amen that. amen Thank you all so much. Y'all have a blessed night. Okay, thanks. Me too. Okay, bye-bye, bye -bye, guys. All right, everyone in the chat, thank you for hanging in there with us. I know it's just crazy, and uh, I didn't get to all your comments, but thanks. Thanks for supporting uh, Sandra when she was here. That was very nice. I know she appreciated that, to see your love and, and support. And um, please keep Alyssa in your prayers because something pretty major happened with her husband and you, you know who we're talking Alyssa moved from California remember to Alabama and then husband got out of uh, prison remember yeah well something pretty bad happened to him tonight and uh, she wanted to call in earlier but it you know we couldn't have it on with we were like in, so I said to her that I will call her but then I asked for her number and she I didn't get it yet and then I gave her the number to call in here because after we were done enough and I haven't heard from her so Alyssa um, if you give me your number I will call you um, otherwise you know um, we're praying for you and I'll see if I have any numbers listed for you and try to give you a call but we're all keeping you in our prayers and um, prayers for everyone else. Sleeping Beauty, I hope you're okay. And Joe and Tracy W. and Nana Patty's sister and Dreaming's daughter and, and everyone. I know I'm forgetting people and it's not intentional. Um, but everyone that needs prayers, praying for you guys. 
Um, love you guys. God bless. And um, what else am I going to say? And I'm the only one. Bye. I'll see you guys. Yeah. Thanks. Bye-bye.